How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the big six. I see Tov shaking his head. I know a lot of us expected a skull fuggery edit today, but I think I think even he's just bored of Chelsea's form right now as well. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe Tov needs to voice note him again or something. <laughs> but I hope everyone is all good and well. Um, he that, wouldn't he? Say that again. I'm sure he'd like that, wouldn't he? So he can clip it up and put it on fucking on Twitter. <laughs> or, or or an intro either or um but yeah we're here two thousand people in the building already so listen hit the like button let's get up to a thousand likes as soon as possible and let's follow the mandem as well make sure you subscribe right here on the official channel and also you saeed grizz tov matisse and skull Fuggery. all their channel links are in the description below so make sure you're supporting the mandem as usual it's due to be a big show again the first piece of silverware if you can call it that has gone to the red side of Manchester. Um, so we are going to start over there. Saeed, you was at the game as well. So yeah, smiles on your face. I saw a bit of your, I saw a bit of your uh, match reaction and whatnot. I yeah. see Arsenal's name in your mouth again. I don't know why, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. Um, but start yeah. with the positives. How, how you feeling, my bro? Carlin Cup. Carlin. Carlin. I feel good, man. I feel good. Listen. The the the, the kind of it's it's not it's not a major trophy. That's that's not my message. I just think it's a significant moment for my United, literally, because it's six years the trophy drought. It's been a long six years. You get me? Like, don't get me wrong. But I can't lie. I'm gassed for the for the reason fact that you know these players haven't won anything. A lot of them haven't won anything. It's a momentum time for United. I think this Carabao Cup trophy for me, you know, Ten Hag's first trophy in his first year. Um, and we dealt with Newcastle, man. It's, it's, it's a long day. You're traveling all the way from Manchester to London and you don't win that. Like, I knew already it's going to be a long drive, a long, long drive. So, we had to come out of there and we had to win because Newcastle came in their numbers. So, I was like, you know what? We need to win. And for me, I'm so gassed, man. You know what I mean? There's certain man on here that were talking the most. You know what I mean? And I won't mention Dave, he, he can talk to himself about that, but that we're, we're doubting certain players and one of them performed on, 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 on a Wembley. You know what I mean? Funny enough, he actually performed well. And name he, names. Name you know names. I mean? he's, he's right there with, with a Tottenham hat on because Tottenham won all of a sudden. And he's got the Tottenham hat on. You know what I'm saying? But Toby, you're talking the absolute nonsense about their course here. When my striker, believe it or not, who's come on a three million. Can you believe it, people? Three million loan, just to let you know, has got more goal involvements than Harry Kane in Wembley finals. Can you believe it, people? And then this guy here has to come, the audacity to come and question my work horse and be like, it's rubbish. You don't really do anything. Well, listen, where it mattered the most, where your striker has bottled it the most, my striker has come in and said, you know what? I'm going to perform in a, in a final. And your one's like, well, well, it's not time to perform today. Well, it's not time to drag my team. Well, that striker did, mate. And you know what, yeah? I'm I'm one of them where you look at football and you look at his totality. And that's what you don't do, Toby. You just look at it in black and white and think, right, is he rubbish? Is he not rubbish? What does he do for the team? And you can clearly see, yeah, if you're a footballing man, the man that you proclaim on the big six and to the rest of the world, that you say, oh, well, he's rubbish. Well, if you can see what he's doing and you can see what he's giving us to our team, mate, and the goal there, he drops in the shoulder, which I told you before. He turns on the half turn. He creates space for others, like I told you. It's not going to be on the end there of the goal. I understand that. I understand the limitations. But I talked about their course giving us what he could give us. And what he gives us is an opportunity to allow others to come into play. And the link-up play he provides us. And where was he for the assist? Bang. That's my striker right there. And you're talking nonsense about him. And he's, and, and he's got a trophy before your world-class striker. Can you believe it? In what? Less than two months? Oh my God. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Toby, you just need to hold this L, my friend, yeah? Because he's actually done something that you would have thought, oh, he would. I knew he was praying on his downfall. I bet you was watching that final picket. I hope their cause flops in the final. I hope he bottles it. Nah, mate, that's not what we do, my brother. Their cause. <laughs> Impact. That's their cost right there. And you're just going to come on here and say, well, it was rubbish for the whole game. Listen, he's there to do a job. 
and he did that job, my friend. Leg horse. Are you mad? <laughs> Wait, what are you going to say about this? Like, what are you going to say? Oh, but I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to laugh, man. I'm Boy, yeah, I know you're going to laugh. And I'm that is gonna... probably more out of embarrassment more than, no, it's more not, than it's anything. Not... I'm and all you're going to say is, but okay, but you've got, you've got, got more to goals. say. Go on, say speak. The but insecurity is unbelievable, man. But you're going to say, but Kane's got more goals. Listen, I can't care less, man. He could have them goals. But for, when you look at football, and this is for anyone out there, you have to look at his positive impact, what their goals do. If you're not looking at that and you're just saying, oh, but this and this, and he doesn't score enough goals, he, A, he wasn't brought for that. And, and, and the manager knew he's not a prolific goal scorer, <laughs> but he has a positive impact in his team. <laughs> Guys, this guy just said he wasn't brought in to score goals. No, That's but the manager, hold on, hold on a minute. The manager knew he's not a prolific goal scorer, but he knew what he could give us up front. If he went, he would have kept Cristiano Ronaldo. He would have said, you know what? Cristiano Ronaldo could get us goals. He no. would have kept him, but no. he never. And now he no, brought no, in their no, no. course yeah. and he's given us more than goals. He's he given us Ronaldo more than goals. Because Ronaldo went on air and did an interview basically slamming your club to speak. Yeah, the that's another point, yeah. I'll give you so that one, yeah. Vekos and Ronaldo are not interlinked, apart from the fact that Martial's injury prone and you needed a striker. You brought and you know him what, in. Yeah. And, just, and you know just, what, you know what? You know what, you know, you know all I'm going to say is this. I, I don't even want to explain myself anymore because I'm tired of explaining myself. Hmm. I'm tired of explaining myself. So I'm just going to sit back and laugh and let time... Let time do its thing because you've been on this platform several times, mouthing off like that, and three form ups down the line, you change two. So, all about I'm gonna what? do is what, what do you mean, like what the list is endless? You, think I'm, gonna, you think I'm gonna backtrack about Vegas? Is that what you're trying to say? No, it's not about backtracking. I'm just gonna say if, if let's stick to the context, let's stick to the context. Yeah. So, you're saying here, I'm now gonna backtrack about Vegas. Now, you keep interrupting me. No, Said, I said that. I said that sometimes stuff that you say ages like milk, right? Mm. So I'm going to give this time. I'm not even going to argue with anything you said. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and just let it marinate. But that's, that's, that's what I'm saying to you. Like, I, this, I, I don't get that point, no. Vic, why don't you just give him credit for yesterday and you look at his performance today and you look at what he's doing for the team? Why can't you just look at a player like, you know you what? Ain't ask, you ain't asked me. You, ain't, you haven't even asked me. How do you think he performed yesterday? All you did is you came here talking about, oh, he's got more... You don't want to talk, he said. You don't want to talk, he said. You don't want to talk about anything, he said. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about my thoughts on him as a player for Man United, right? Mm. Because I think he is a player that is well below the level at United. Well below the level at United. When you signed him, when you signed him, I even said to you, again, with the Berbatov chat, I said, I can see where you're coming from. It's a crazy statement, but I can see where you're coming from because he doesn't lack that much technically when he has the ball at his feet. But... He, mm. When I watch this guy with my eyes, he quite clearly isn't good enough to play for Man United. Just because he's doing a, a decent job for you in some of these matches. Okay, granted, mm. yesterday he actually had a decent game. Fair enough. But you're latching on to, oh, he got the assist for Rashford, even though the goal, the, the ball took a nick off Dan Burn. But that, that, but that, that's, that, 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 again, again. And then, that, and then what, was these other, what was these other assists? The, the other assist against Leeds, where he's given the ball to Garnacho and Garnacho is ran... 20 yards into open space, runs into the box and smashes Again, it you're off. not looking at the context. But Listen, I am we looking at the ramble context. Here. You, we you can ramble saying... here all day long. No, we no, no, can no, ramble here We're not day arguing. Day we're not arguing. You keep telling me I'm not looking at the context. I am looking at the context. I'm not just looking at his lack of goals. I'm looking at what he brings overall to Man United. And I'm seeing a guy who was so bad at striker that Ten Hag has had to move him into midfield. And like I said last week, I'm praising the manager more than I'm praising Vekos because oh, I do okay, not okay. see I do not see. Um, I do not see the same player you see. I don't see him. Okay. That, that, that's so why I'm here to kind of educate I, I you. I don't know what you want. You keep saying you're not giving in context. I literally gave you the context last week. Veghorst is quite mm. clearly well below the standard at Man United, and Ten Hag is getting him to do a decent job in midfield now. And and that's all I'm saying to you. I'm just saying to you to look at his game and what he's giving us, and that's all it is, man. But I don't want to... Uh, listen, I think it just kind of makes it stressful when we talk about Vegas. So I'm going to move on. And I want to move on to the fact that what a brilliant job Ten Hag is doing. I think it's a, it's a magnificent... Why did you start with that? Why did you have to start with Vegas? A guy that's... Yeah, not say, a a you win your first trophy in six years and your first thing is to come no, on. No, no, I just want to let him know. Vegas. Vegas. No, this Crazy. is part of the talk. Dude, can you take it away? Again. I can't believe that. This is mad. No, no, no. Listen, listen. We, this is part of the chat. You know I mean? I just had to let him know. It's, that's all it is, man. I just wanted to, to, to dab at Toby for a little bit. But Weird, other than man. that, I can't lie to you. First trophy in six years. And yes, 
you can call it, you know, the Clown Cup or whatnot. I'm here for all that. But for me as a United fan, it's a, it's a very, very key moment in the next stage of what Ten Hag is trying to build here. It's a very, very key moment in what Ten Hag is trying to build here. I think the mentality now that Ten Hag is trying to build... Was there some feedback in it? Was it just me? Yeah, there's someone's echo, you know? Yeah, someone's echo. Is it me or... I don't know who it is. Yeah, so basically... Yeah, so basically, I just feel like for me, this is a very, very key moment. I think Ten Hag, you're looking at Casemiro yesterday. This is why he brought him on the biggest stages, you know, making an impact. Varane yesterday, leader. Sandro Martinez, leader again. Like, every single player on the Ten Hag is cooking right now. And they're playing for the manager. Everything's going, what I said it was going to be, you know, um, after the Arsenal game, I said United are built different now. Their mentality has changed now. We're not just going to be rolled around now. Everybody here is playing for the manager. And if when you look at it from the Brentford game, I'm not going to lie to you, it was, it was very, very bleak. But the manager galvanised everyone. He got everyone playing. He got everyone, um, what do you call it, going his way. And that's what that's what it is right now. It's his, his way or no way. Look at the way he dealt with the Ronaldo situation. Bang, out of the team. Look at Sancho, told him to fix up and, and, and got him on a training programme and tell him, listen, whatever you got to sort out mentally, you go sort it out. From top to bottom, he's got this team under control. Certain other managers haven't been able to do that. And that's why they left. He's got them all together. The camaraderie's right. I just think for me right now, it's a good time to be a United fan. It really, really is. And you can see there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a success plan right now. You can see with him, he knows what he's doing. There's control element there. And I feel like it's, just, it's a good time, man. And I said this season, we're built different. I really, really did, man. I just knew there was something cooking, man. And like I said now, I want to win the FA Cup. I want to go far as, as we can in the Europa League. There's just, just that feeling now where we just want to just go for it and, 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 and don't, don't worry about anything. So, yeah, man, it's a good moment, man. I'm just so happy that we won it, man. Because at the end of the day, Newcastle, they came here and you kind of looked at it and thought, ooh, could they, could they get an upset? But I was just so confident about the day, the momentum we got right now. Just can't lie. It's, it's a good feeling right now to be a United fan. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't lie, man. It's a good feeling. I don't know if, if anyone wants to say anything. I know last time, you know, here we got a bit salty and whatnot, but it is what it is. I get it. You know, right now, when my United are doing well, it's difficult to kind of maybe praise United. But at the same time, let's just have an open discussion. And, 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 and you know what I mean? Like, what we say, I know Matisse rided out for United last time. And Turkish tried to mention, you know, that United are doing well. But I felt like Huey, I don't know, man. You looked a bit, you know, it's a bit of a mad one. Are you all right? Are you all right? That car park, man, it creeps me out a little bit. But listen, I'm, I'm the first to admit yeah. that Ten Hag's doing a fantastic job. I've praised the, the decisions he's made. I've praised the regalvanizing of the club. And I'm all for it. The on the pitch and, and that kind of stuff, the decision making he's doing and what's going on there. It's it's brilliant. I, I can't deny that. It's just you lot as fans. I find really fucking funny. You know, like, I'm still at the part where we're deciding: is it a major trophy? Is it not? Because when we won four of the last six, it was you know Mickey Mouse. Now you win it. We're seeing United fans saying you you only talking fluent trophies. There's nothing fluent about one in six years. You know what I mean? You need to, you need to chill out a little bit. I get it. You're onto something good, but let's not jump the gun. That, that that's all I'm saying. No, it's not a major trophy. Let's not kid ourselves. But it's a trophy that for me. It just sets the mentality for the rest of the season because if you win that, then it sets the precedent in it, you know what I mean? And you kind of move on to the next cup. And I think ultimately, some of these players shouldn't be shying away from a Carabao Cup. Some of these have not won anything in six years. So you can't turn your nose down and be like, you know what, we're, we're too good for the Carabao Cup. Nah, you got to win that, man. So, and that's why Tenaga has gone in every single competition strong. Every single team that he's played against in every competition, he's gone in strong. Whereas I've looked at it for, you know what, he should, he should maybe kind of rest a few players. He's gone now. We're playing Casemiro against Charlton. And it's like, bro, like, fair play, man. And he just wants that serious mentality, man. You've got to drum it into these players. Like, you know what? We're not, we're not messing around now. You go into every competition. Game, and that's, that's the whole point of elite sport. You, you, you win. There's no kind of... You know what it is, you know, Saeed, man? I, I don't know how you feel about the title race. And we may talk about it with Man United again. Because it's an ongoing conversation. Are you in it? Are you not? But I've always suggested that it's within your interest. And I said the same about Arsenal in that famous FA Cup game against us. To win your cup games and try and win the cup if you can. Because it's a massive, massive psychological boost and momentum builder for everything else you do in the season. Whilst we are kind of in agreement that the Carabao Cup is not the, the major piece of the season that you are hopefully trying to achieve... Winning that now should give you a massive boost for the rest of your season, no? 
Yeah, of course it will. But again, let's not drag a, a, a conversation about a cup into a title talk. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know where you're trying to go here, but you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I always try to get the when, when City, when City oh, won the domestic cups, particularly the League Cup. If you, when we won four out of five or four out of six League Cups there, four in a row, I felt that was massive for us in making us stronger for the second half of the season because you win it in February and then there's still the whole business end of the season. For this, though, you, you were equipped to win the league. I don't think United right now are equipped to win the league. Like th That's just my own opinion. Really? I don't think we are. I think there's so well, much Your form there. would suggest otherwise. Your current your form, form suggest Of course. But, but form can dip. And also, we've got one source of goal and that's Marcus Rashford and that's where the worry is for me. Whereas yeah, I think with Arsenal... I think you had the best centre-back pairing in the league. Best DM Well, yeah, I think, I think right now, there's, there's, I don't think there's anyone form. better. But well, that's not all. Form. Yep. So Carry it on. looks like you've got the. It looks like you've got a bit of a spine there for for a title challenge. Listen now. again, again. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is looks good on paper, but at the same time, I'm only going off your words. Title, there's, there's, there's there's loads everything of... I said was, was your words, not my words. Apart from Casemiro, Casemiro as well. You want to talk about Casemiro as well again? No, no, no. I, no, mean, I said apart from Casemiro. Every, apart from Casemiro, everything you said, I just said that they, they're your words. Yeah, listen, I, and and I and I agree, but again, it still doesn't mean uh, which I'm confident. It? I am confident about winning the league. Again, you, we can have these conversations, and I get it. It's, it, it makes fun. It makes sense, but at the same time, it makes it fun. Said has yeah, been Said has been kicked out of the lab. He said yeah, it exactly. already. He was he played out, with man. those experiments. He had his lab coat yeah. on, and he was kicked out. He was banished yeah. from the lab. So banished. they're not letting they're not, they're not letting Saeed like back one, into yeah. the lab. <laughs> I'm not, not allowed him. I don't have the you card, know, man. He doesn't even have the cards. Card. Like you know that meme look, when you're you trying to get back him, into man. the training oh. ground and you just can't get back in. You know, the Q card don't swipe. Look, look, there's a card. You don't swipe anymore, man. The Q card, QR code there. It doesn't swipe anymore, people. So I wish I could go back. Unless my United are top of the league. He won't be. He won't be experimenting. Listen, you know, when I when I believe in this title, honestly, guys, you will see me undertake. Oh, I'll get make sure Turkish gets it. Know, when I know. believe, we're there. But Arsenal could go eight points clear, uh, and and like I said, it's we, are, we can we say are games in hand. Now. Sorry, I think we are now. No, no, you, you have to. Is it no? You have to win uh, thingy, isn't you it? We just be Leicester in it, and you you didn't play. So it's eight points clear now. Obviously, we yeah game, and then obviously you got to play Wednesday as well. So I just don't believe right now in me that we're going to win the league. I just don't think so. So that's why I don't believe in it right now. So I don't know. There's a lot of things for it to kind of swing in our way. That's why I'm just like, wait and see. You know what I mean? So right now, I just feel like it's one of them. I think for me, get the Europa League, FA Cup. Let's go for them ones because I think they're, they're winnable. They're literally winnable. FA Cup, Man City are in it and I think it's Tottenham. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'll take both of them. And in Europa League, it's Arsenal really. That's a big, big competition. So... I don't see anyone else. But the Premier League, I'm not going to lie, I don't believe in it. If I did, I would come on here and say it, but I just don't believe in it. That's all it is, really. So, then you don't really I, believe everything you've said to gas up your club for, for weeks now. Everything Ten Hag's doing the right way and the, the squad's all pulling in the right direction. You clearly, it's just fickle what you're saying and there's no real chest to it. No, but the thing is, with the Premier League, it's different, man. It's over 38 games. It's, 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 it's continuous. The, the mentality is different with it I just don't right now as well we've not been in the title race for years so again it's different I just think the Premier League is a different breed of nature and Man City and Arsenal have just shown they've been at probably a level above right now but we haven't this season we haven't this season we haven't shown the same consistency mm. like you should be looking at us and saying City are there for the taking <laughs> so I don't you know you know who he's doing a well it's a very good job you're doing the Rodri role very well and, and I get it you're, you're, you're pressing right now but listen I'm Casemiro mate you know what I mean I'm I'm the best at it, so I'm just relaxing right now yeah, I'm enjoying my career and like I said if anything materializes then I may go back in the future but right now wow. right now it's it's no there's no title race talk right now like let it, let's get to there but now there's no title race talk we've won the Carabao Cup Yes, we've got the mentalities building and we're, we're building momentum, but this whole idea is title talk. It's, it's For me, it's too premature, man. I'm sorry. It's too no, premature. Someone, someone's, someone's media trained Saeed, man. This, is, this isn't the real yeah, Saeed. Honestly, it's it's not, it's, you know what it is, though? It's Cam's. It's, 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 it's you yeah, fans. It's you fans. Cam's, Cam's has got a hold of him on the phone. No, no, no. You know what it is? It's you fans. Every time my United are doing well, you want to drum it into us that we're in a title. Why can't we just... No, Basically, right now, we're that, winning bro. the cups we want to win. You and then to later on, when it's viable, then we can win it. That's Saeed, all it Saeed, you used to do these things. Remember what you said last season at the start? You said you were on for a quad. So, again, it's yeah. not... 
it's not what you fans want. It, I get that was up. tongue in cheek, but you you'll take yeah, but it what, seriously. But yeah. What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. It was tongue in cheek. Tongue in cheek. Yeah, it was. If you actually ah, watch the video, you know, I was Saeed, like, just it, just in jest up. Go Saeed, watch the video Saeed, again. Saeed, I don't want to drag you, bro. I don't want to drag you. All I wanted to do is actually wish you congrats, man, because I was actually happy to see you to happy her, yesterday, big man. I was gen- well, all jokes aside, I was actually happy to see you happy yesterday. Nah, thank I, you, man. I had, I had no doubts whatsoever Man United were going to win that final. There was no mm. chance they were beating you. There was no chance Newcastle <laughs> were beating United yesterday. So all yeah. I want to say is congrats, bro. Congrats. There you and go. Really you know, you know, I've been doing content for five years, yeah? And we are not won a trophy, man. So I was actually going to leave YouTube and think, you know what? Like, maybe it's because of me in it. But listen, we've we, we done it. And like I said, yeah, don't let any United fan... Like not en- enjoy the moment, man, and then we move. Like we, like Ten Hag says, FA Cup now we move. I enjoyed it for one day. It's out of my system now. You know, what I mean? it's out of my system. I'm become Ten Hag now. I want to get win the FA Cup. I don't want to win the yeah. Europa League. Ten Hag, yeah, Come yeah. On. I've got Come that. I've got that mentality in me now. I want to win the next cup. So, mm. yeah, man. Listen, I think right now, you know, what I mean, let's just let's just premature on the title talk, and you know, what I mean, we're doing well. That's all it is. So, no, credit to you, credit to you for starting off with it's not a major trophy because a, yeah, lot of, absolutely. a lot of United fans are going on like you won the Champions League and it's making mm. it, that, that is making me sick because you know, like you said, and I'm sure Grizz can can back that up where when other clubs win the League Cup, you know, United fans are involved in the slander of the same cup that they're now gassing up like the next best thing since last bit. But you said it, I've praised United a few times over the last couple of weeks. Mm. It's all going well. I understand why you don't want to commit to a title challenge, even though, even though you do say things like best centre back pairing, most on form left back. Mm. Rashford's the well, that goes without saying. Rashford's the most on form attacker in the league right now. Casemiro, one of if not the best DM in the league. So you're primed to do it, but at the same time, when you're not playing the games and Arsenal have just gone eight points clear, and we've got another game in hand against Everton that we should win. I guess you're hesitant to say it. So maybe in a few weeks, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it's looking mm-hmm. in the Premier League table. But you got the job done. I mean, uh, as soon as Pope was out injured, even with Pope playing, Newcastle haven't really been the same as they was earlier on this season. They haven't been their same solid selves, losing 2-0 to Newcastle, couple one one. I mean, Liverpool, couple one one draws. So I expected United to get the job done. And, and you got the job done. Um, I think Newcastle were good. I think Newcastle deserved at least a goal out of it. But... Defensively, you lot done very well. Um, Varane and Martinez, they do deserve their credit. They've been solid for a little while now. Um, and overall, United, it's, it's looking good over there. It's just that when the pressure comes, and by that pressure, I mean the pressure of, of, of your own fans next season when, you know, you've got one trophy in the bag. You're hoping for another one at least this season, FA Cup Europa League. Next season, uh, you know, it, it, is a, it is about a title challenge, regardless of how long you Scary been. hours, yeah. He's going to have a bit more money in the summer. So, mm. United, things are looking good over there, man. I understand yeah. why I understand why you're happy. I understand why you're giddy at the moment. Mm. It makes sense. Makes Chris, sense. are you all right there, by the way? Because I've just I've noticed you've no. not spoken in about 24 minutes. Like, Are you all right? I just want to check if you're all right there. Are you okay? No. <laughs> I'm not all right. Why should I be all right? <laughs> Mine's in a, I'm in a diff- difficult situation. That's why I was trying to probably... Get through this patch of United yeah. talk and maybe get onto other teams where I can talk more. Like it's it's a difficult time. Like life's different. Like this time last year, we were I would have been coming on this show celebrating the League Cup. Of course, unfortunately, it was my brother Matisse again that was on the end of it. Mm. Um, but last season, this time last season, we were celebrating the League Cup. It was one of the best times, best times ever at Wembley. So. I don't want to come across salty. I don't want to come across a hater. And I don't want to come across like a rider as well. I don't want to ride for you guys. I don't want to praise you. Like, it's hard for a Liverpool fan, like a proper Liverpool fan, to actually praise Man United. You right, you, you guys know the rivalry, yeah? It's yeah, like probes yeah. and Arsenal, yeah? You understand? Yeah. It's like uh, it's like probably Turkish for United or Turkish for thing, yeah? And it's like Huey for you guys. Mm. So... I don't want to catch too much smoke, you know, from the people saying, oh, Grizz is salty or then Grizz is doing too much. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to I'm going to praise Ten Hag. I think he's done a magnificent job with you guys. I hate it. This is really, really bad, uh, what he's doing. 
really bad what he's doing. No, no. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm worried. Yeah. Because this guy has brought a mentality. He's done everything that, of course, we're going to come on to Potter. He's done mm. everything that Potter, I don't think, capable of doing in terms of stamping his authority. The decisions he's made, you know what I mean? The calls he's made on players, the selection, the tactics, everything that we think, yo, he needs to do this. He does it. Just a very, like, obviously it was an obvious thing, but little, little things like Dallow, yellow card. Some managers might have thought, no, no, yeah, trust yeah. the player, trust the player. He thought, fuck trusting the player. On the second, second on now. I don't want no risks. Mm. He's just making the right calls. He's making them, he's making them really good again. I hate it. But I, I wouldn't say they're back, back, because let's just assume you're finishing third. Mm. Are we assuming they're finishing third, lads? First and foremost, and mi assuming? minimum, yeah. minimum third, yeah. Minimum third. Okay. So, so you're finishing third. All right, you've won the League Cup. Unless you win the Europa League as well, which we don't know. You might, you might not. But let's yeah. just say right now, if you finish third and win the League Cup, I believe Mourinho finished second and won a cup in it. He won the Europa League, didn't he? Mm. Yeah, I what believe I about? believe Louis Van Gaal won you the the, the cup as well, and then got sacked as well. Yeah, and I'm sure at that time you Man United people thought you're back, especially under Mourinho when you finished second. You thought, yeah, we're gonna go again. Yeah. yeah. Now, right now we've been calling this, and I've been calling. I've been an advocate of wild season. This is wild season. It's a resurgent Arsenal that no one thought that they're going to be this good. We were cussing this Arsenal this time last year, right? Badly. Yeah. Spurs, by the way, Mourinho Spurs, finished sixth, by the way, that season, what are you telling us? Spurs are Spursy, right? Mm. Man City have had a, uh, a drop-off. Of course, not the level of Liverpool. Mm. Man City are probably the shakiest they've been in, what, four or five years, Huey, would you say? Yeah? Probably since, probably since the year you won the league, yeah? Right. Yeah. We're, we're the worst that we've ever been in the situation, like under Klopp. And Matisse, we're going to obviously come on to. So you're, so, really you think finishing, so you're really finishing third kind of where you're expected to finish, I'd say, third or fourth, right? I don't I don't see the back-back, but I 100% see the improvement. Ten Hag's done a lot of work. It's solid. Is the, the and, and, and I know we're going to touch on individuals, but that, that trident you got there of Casemiro, Varane, mm. uh, and Martinez, it's good as anything, I'd say, and I hate to say it, it's good as anything in Europe right now. Casemiro, mm. Varane, and um, Martinez. Solid backbone. And, I, Solid and I'm not and I'm not enjoying it, bro. But that's the most praise I can give you guys. Uh, uh, please don't ask no, me. I'll take, that, I'll take that. Yeah, we, we we keep it moving on other teams. I speak on, but United uh, to just to hear just to hear them songs and people be sending me GG MU in capital yeah, letters. Yeah. Like, fuck <laughs> out of here, man. I don't know what the fuck, man. What does it? You know me and these initials. Oh, going like, Man United. I have to ask Toby what they mean and shit. No, I don't need to know. Yeah, so I, I do think that there have been United fans that are overdoing it, but I, I'm going to actually disagree with the expectation, right? Because at the start of the season, I didn't expect Man United to finish top four. You didn't expect Man United to finish top four. I don't think anyone here apart from Saeed expected Man United to finish top four. And granted, yes, Liverpool are not the same team they were last year. Um, we are flaky, Chelsea are horrendous, right? But Man United have actually been consistent, which is the one thing you couldn't say about Man Can United. Can I finish third, though? Like, but, a, a disastrous, we've had a disastrous season, worst team that you lot are saying that you've seen. Yeah, yeah no, but what we already know, Arsenal is a one-off. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying, saying so which one is it? So I'm Arsenal saying, is a one-off, we're dead, and Man City have admittedly been the worst that they've been in years, yet United are third. They're not, they're not walking the league. So what it's, it's, a bit of, it's, it's, it's an improvement from United and it's a bit of a drop-off in, in other yeah. contenders. Oh, where are they back? No, but, but saying, saying we're back is, I don't know, right? But no, 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 no one said that they're back in that what, sense. No, no, no. The, the whole point around saying back is you have not seen Man United as a side that have that look like they have the capacity to be competitive. You didn't believe it with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. You didn't. Because there was not a method, to, there wasn't really a method to the madness. They just had a couple of individuals getting bailed out. Now it's more problematic because you can actually see that there's a manager who is literally getting the best out of every single player that he has and 
they're progressing. That is why it's worrying. And then when you add into the, when you add into the fact that they could potentially be bought by Qataris, there is, and on top of the fact that they they're not, by the way, they're not. We don't know yet, but what I'm saying is, what I'm Just saying is, you when you the fact that they've won a trophy, it is problematic. It is. I said that at the start. I said it's problematic because they're getting better and stronger. Yeah, but, but I'm saying I'm saying they have a, they have okay they haven't won the league title yet, but as far as them being a competitive side is concerned, they have every reason to say mm. that they're back right now. They do as painful as it as painful as it is for me to say that they have every reason to say that. Back what though? This is my point. So you know, Man United being back, Toby. Man United being back is them yeah. consistently challenging yeah. the Premier League and looking like potential winners. He's yeah. not even saying that right now. He's not even saying they're in a title race. So how can they be back? How can they be back? Get what we're saying, Tobes. I said as far as Grizz, I said as far as being a competitive side is concerned, they yeah, that's it. their back. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they should be talking about like winning the league. And, and that's fine. And I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, can have aspira- they can have aspirations yeah. because they now have a manager who they can believe can do that for them. I agree with that. And by the way, the, the Oli situation, people are talking about when we finished second with Oli, but Oli was built on momentum. I don't think it was built on tactics. And No, no, I didn't say that. Yeah, I, I'm talking about the Louis van Gaal era and the Jose Mourinho era that you look for. The Mourinho back. era, we won a trophy, but we finished six. It wasn't like he was, bro, Mourinho's good at competitions, man. Like, we, we, that, that wasn't a kind of, a, it didn't show me where we were in terms of our team. You know what I mean? So I think this one here is where I look at it and I think everything is just... Coherent I just now. think I just I, think look, people 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 yeah. are saying people are saying uh you know salty. I was gonna get this, right? It's inevitable, right? isn't it? It's, it's inevitable, inevitable isn't it? Yeah. like yeah. I'm yeah, even, yeah. I'm reading. Can't give your opinion comment. on here without being called. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What I'm saying is the United that I grew up when United said they're back and Huey will attest to this. Toby Turkish definitely. Matisse probably didn't watch football back in them days. Um, <laughs> but but, but, but what, what, when I say United are back, right? To me, that was winning titles, Champions Leagues. That's okay. when they were back. back. That's what, um, um, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't watching football when they That's beat good. us in Moscow, no? That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm only joking with you, brother. But, you anyway, when, you know, but, when, but when, when they're saying now they're back, 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 and then Toby defines their back in terms of they're able to compete now, that's not back, back for Man United. No, I but okay, that's a process, that. though, it? It's a process. You'll that's get right. to that stage. What, no, no, I get that. I get that. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Hundred percent. I get that. Back in the that's what I said. Place. I think. No, no. What? So that's why I started off in it. People always don't listen to me sometimes, man. Because yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Do you know what I mean? You should listen to me in more in it. Like when I start off, I, I try to make my points very clear and concise. That's why I said I'm getting worried that they're getting back, and people forgotten that and just concentrated on the salt. I said I'm worried and I hate it. I hate it that they're coming back. But I wouldn't say they back back to the United that I grew up watching. That's okay. what I said. But congratulations. And I echo what Toby said. I was very happy for you because you already know your front line. You know what I mean? I've got a hell of respect for you. Home and away, cold, windy nights. You're not one of them glory people that suddenly turn up at finals. And yeah, man. Yeah, we're here. We're here. No, no. You went through the trenches with this Man United team. So big up yourself. You know what I mean? People already know who I'm having shots at. You know what I mean? You wasn't one of these flashing the tickets while you're in the final. You're there. You're front line. Big up you. But you ain't back back, brother. You ain't back back. Yeah, you have to consistently challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next That's season, though, we can get two or three. I feel, Grizz, like, challenge. Yeah, I feel like Grizz, when Grizz broke down his point, I think that's perfectly fair. That's fair, really yeah. Understand. That's why I haven't really rattled well, people who look yeah. at that and say that's agenda. I don't think that's fair. If the standard, if the standard being, if the standard bearer is League winners, then they're not back yet. We're talking Man United here, people. We're not talking. That's why I've been so disappointed. Why do you think I was so toxic under Oliver the Social? Like, mm. I wanted to win, but the fan base were like, no, you give him time as a novice manager. Mm. So that's why I was so like, yo, get this guy out so we can bring a proper manager. Wait, so... Grizz, I've just seen the comments and I've seen who you, it is that you're getting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy, Grizz. <laughs> you know, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, I was saying the, the person who you sneak this in about real fans, isn't it? Right. No, not person, man. I don't take the uh, persons, man. There, there could be there's, 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 there's about twenty of them. <laughs> well, pick and choose, good. man. Pick and choose, man. There's twenty of them, man. <laughs> twenty Klingons, man. Nah, big up them, man. Big up, man. Uh, of course, cool. big up, big up them every time. They're family. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Messi's won the. Um... They're family, bro. They're family. Allow Messi Messi's chat, man. Year. No, I'm just saying, to you, yeah. Messi's family, man. But I'm just saying, I'm just speaking from a personal point of view. 
you know what I mean? Hella respect this man through the trenches, man. He's had he's had death threats. He's had people looking to do this nasty messages, racist people on his back, all of this kind of shit. This guy's rolled through all of that shit. That's why I'm happy for my brother. Yeah, man. Love, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. Your team is not back. back. Life's different now, man. Life's, Life's different. Life's different, man. Life's Life's different, different. man. Big, up, big up, man. You've gone through a lot of shit for this, man. So I was happy to see you happy. But I wasn't happy, if you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Matisse, any, anything you want to mention? You've been, you've been, you've been quite quiet. I've, I've, I've already given United their flowers. I, I thought, let me do it pre-match because I knew they were going to win. Do you know what I mean? As much as I was hoping, I was a Geordie, I was praying, um, I knew they were going to win. I had everybody calling my phone from rants to flawless to... So I already knew, you know, I already knew they were going to win the game. Um, so I, there's nothing, I don't need to, I don't need to say anything, you know, I don't need to say anything. Mm. You got bigger things to worry about. I, I, prefer, I prefer, I prefer, I prefer not to speak. I'm charging. You're saving your, you're saving your words for. I'm charging, yeah, charging, yeah, charging. Charge your batteries, man. It's cool. <laughs> Don't worry, it's coming up soon, my guy. Let's look at the super chats because we've got a fair few in as well, um, oh, as expected on the United subject. Where are we, Jerome? You're actually wrong. Wrong. It wasn't Grizz holding us up at the beginning. So maybe he deserves an apology from you, my guy, because Grizz was here nice and early. You know what I'm saying this is Man United people. He's the most one who's been sending me GGMU. What the fuck? That kind of <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get them. What's it? You and you never walk alone. What's that one as well? Yeah, you already know what it's called, though. I don't even know what GGMU is. Like <laughs> people know when you know why NWA what it means. It's you worldwide. Really, it's yeah. known. Nobody fucking yeah. knows what GGMU means, man. That could be. I don't know. That could be like some, I don't know, a barcode or something. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Wi-Fi code shit. Ben, Benji <laughs> says, City and Liverpool have been laughed at for the past five years for winning the Mickey Mouse Cup. As soon as United win the trophy, it's a big deal. Hypocrisy. Massive respect to everyone. This show is life. Like I said, credit to Saeed. He got that out of the way straight away. It's not a major. No man says, I'm ready for the weekly dosage of Matisse cooking. Becoming a bit too familiar now. Become part of the furniture, Tim says. Saeed, looking at football in totality, don't kill me. Harry Beckenbauer, Bruno, best midfielder in the world, <laughs> ultimate waffler. Don't I let him take you down, man. Saeed, man. You know, I told you, man. When I got the lockdown, uh, the, the, the the job, I wasn't, I wasn't the same, man. So, <laughs> I, mean, I told everyone, didn't it? Don't, don't look at lockdown, Saeed, didn't it? That's a different Saeed, man. The way Maguire was moving with that trophy as well, like he done something. Like, What's wrong with my man? <laughs> yeah, man. It's, yeah, it's, I believe it's something in it. That's what he said. <laughs> Turkish, did you hear about Mudrik is unhappy at Chelsea and made the wrong decision, according to Shakhtar Chief? Would you take him? Big up the panel. I wouldn't. And it's not. It's not. It's not even a. It's not even a topic of discussion. That's not happening. Adam says this Chelsea season is really the plot to goblet of fire. Except nobody wants to help Potter. Well, let me save a couple for the Chelsea talk. Tobes is hella salty. Says AP. Give what time? We just won a trophy and knocked Barca out in the same week. Weghorst got an assist. You're complaining like he plays for your team. I love how the camera came in straight away then. <laughs> yeah, he was ready. <laughs> he was ready, man. <laughs> Ericsson is seven months at United. Already won more trophies than his seven years at Spurs. Hold that, Toby. Big up the panel. Jerome, again, Tobes, the facts are the facts, bro, and you can see it on your face. Even though you're trying to sound smart, Tottenham will not win any trophies in the next 10 years. Explain why your team are even competing. GGMU, Grizz's favourite four letters at the moment. Ali says, Turkish, I DM'd you info about New York on Insta on Friday. Hope it helps. Big up to you and the rest of the squad. Big fan of the show. I'm going to book the tickets for New York this week, so I'm going to go through the messages and then sort out accommodation. So... Like I said, if you're from New York and you can help out, let us know. Um, DM us. Like I said, first trophy in six years and where course was the open monology. Um, monology. Um, how times have changed. Weak mentality and very shameless from Saeed, man. You meant monologue, mate. Monologue, yeah. I was thinking, what the... Um, I, was so him. I spoke to him yesterday, in it? So I tried to let him know. Oh, okay, Ahmed says since we're called Strange United, have they improved? I believe they have. Oh my god, the team just like Martial did when fit. Toby, shut up, basically. Oh <laughs> my god, oh god, <sighs> like, he is a master of creating narratives to come across as the victim. Says Jamzy, mad defensive about stuff no one said. Football gaslighted, 
Oh, that is, that's, <laughs> that's a personal one there. I like that one. Do more then, man. Keep sending it in. Mustafa says, why does Saeed have so much chest on his show saying Arsenal were coming for you but fold like a bitch when he gets to the big time? Love to Grizz. Is that what you're saying in your channel? You're coming for Arsenal? Listen, man. I've just been watching watch alongs. That's all I've been doing, man. So I don't know what this guy's waffling. I'll say no more. <laughs> Boogie Man says, big up, lads. Did, did Tobes apologise to Weghorst already? I just joined one game at a time, one trophy at a time. <laughs> Don't get camp started. Tobes, did you apologise or...? I called him Weguinho on um, the touchline <laughs> in jest. So I guess that's what they want me to call him, right? Weguinho? Yeah? Weguinho, I don't know. That sounds nice, though. Yeah? Is that what that's, you want? That sounds nice. No, man, whatever, whatever makes you happy in it, because I think right now you just, every time we talk about their cause, it makes you a bit, like, distressed, so whatever makes no. it good for you. No, 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 Weggy, it's fine. Call it Weggy if you want. I like Weggy. Okay, cool. Weggy. KB says, the United fan base makes me sick to my stomach, because when Liverpool <laughs> won it last year, it's a Mickey Mouse trophy. Show some shame, Saeed. Listen, you, you lot don't Saeed's been quite, I think Saeed's been quite balanced. Exactly. Before he's him. I can't even lie to you. He deserves to be happy. And he even said, the happiness is done. We move on now. And that's what the League Cup is. It's a mid-season cup. You win it. If you win it, yeah. you, just, you just move on. But this Liverpool fan base, though, not, not Grizz, though, that are coming out. But then they were doing it up on top bus parade and whatnot. And, you know, they were, they were celebrating through the rooftop. So you Liverpool fans need to have some, I don't know, man. A bit of a mad one still. Someone said like. No, but fair play to them. We, we celebrate at the end of the season because that was two trophies. Uh, yeah. And a and a mad campaign in the league and a mad oh, campaign okay. in the Champions League. Okay. Well, we won two trophies. You best win two yeah. trophies in it and finish second, like at least second. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to celebrate this? Are you going to have a parade for this? I want to know nice and early. What do you reckon, manager. guys? Are Man United going to have a parade for this? Nah. At the I, end of the season. The way, by the way, the way talking, I don't think he is, man. The way he was, he spoke yesterday. I don't think he is. Okay. Fair play. But you, you guys will do it though, so it's okay for you guys. I said, as I said, I'll repeat. We won two trophies. Yeah. yeah. And then he didn't win the other two. Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's basic maths. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that you're trying to dress it up like it was a... No, very... I'm dressing it up. Yeah, if you win two trophies, I think, and, and have the campaign that we had, because okay. we weren't allowed to celebrate our league title because of COVID, I think the squad <laughs> deserve more than you believe. I think I deserve it. <laughs> Ah, right, cool. TVG says yeah, yeah, Arsenal got the worst squad on paper in the top six bar Spurs in terms of player quality and depth. No title race excuses were allowed. United are in it. Grow some. Yeah, sorry, that's killing me. I don't know about worst squad on paper in the top six. I think when you moved into the season, maybe there is an argument that you could say that. But over this season, I think that's been you know, that's been proven to be wrong because a lot of the players that we had maybe doubts about or maybe wasn't the star-studded names have proved themselves as we're top of the league at the moment, looking to go five points clear. Congrats to United, says Alhambra. Ten Hag is a great coach and isn't even playing 50% of his philosophy. The more he succeeds, the fewer excuses Graham Pulis has to make for his failure. Come on, Todd Bowley, tick-tack. We're getting into it shortly. Is that Graham Pulis on purpose? They call him Graham Pulis. Is that what it is, Matisse? Is that a joke? <laughs> Graham Pulis. <laughs> He's lost his voice today, Matisse. Is he all right? Are you all right, Matisse? You have to make sure you're okay, man. What are they calling him? Graham Pulis. What's he doing? I don't know, man. He... <laughs> I'm telling you, man. People have to watch out for Matisse. Like, someone sent me a super chat saying, look out for Matisse. Hope he's okay. So I don't he's, know at blue, he's at the Blue Oyster. Look, where's Big Steve at, man? He's got Blue Oyster. Not gonna lie, no, Matisse, no case, no case settings, boy. Matisse, that's, that's will confess, Matisse will confess that I'm his proper soulmate. I'm the only one who called him and didn't take the piss and everything. I offered him pizza. I didn't have shit. signal, so I apologize. I said, let's go, Morley's. You know what I mean? I, I I treated him like a proper community man would. So I'm just saying, <laughs> you want a medal for that, yeah? <laughs> Just some prayers, prayers my way. You know what I mean? Top Best, wishes and that. Well, yeah. Best wishes, nah. prayers and that. I'm, I'm just out here looking for good vibes, man. Prayers. I'll get you, I'll get you a morning for your... Hi, Huey. <laughs> what did he say? What did Cheeky Huey say? Nah, nah. What next super chat, man. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> he said, do you want an open bus, open top bus parade? <laughs> Is that what he said? 
Oh, you want to oh, you want to you want to hope you can fill out a bus, brother? <laughs> you know, time original, before you really operate. Original. Yeah, get some fans, then fill out a bus. Then we talk. <laughs> original man. Original. Don Staffy says we got clowned for Ronaldo's stat padding, and now for a striker that makes the players around him better. The mm. big six are turning into the big shit on United parade. This agenda is getting too stinky. Nah, man, we big them up, man. I like, but you know, it's like it's talking sensitive. I remember as well. Yeah. Like, Arsenal fans That's have done this to me as well. They want more and more and more chess. Yeah. It's just, oh, let it, you know, just take, take it easy. Dow Square, the fact that Saeed is so jumpy tells me he secretly thinks they can win the league one. We're gonna get out of him. Well, I think, there's, I think there's a little, there's something there, hundred percent, but it, it just hasn't been released yet. Just been, maybe, maybe an Anfield victory will release that. Oh yeah, we'll see. More we'll than see. you can believe. Trust me, if they win at Anfield, more than you can believe. <laughs> so, Grizzly, you, you are you set to the field? What are you doing there? Why are you no, I'm, just, I'm just saying, if, if the roles were reversed and we went to Man United and won, yeah. I would yeah. say yo. And you guys already know, I would say yo. I'm in a power charge. Matisse has turned it red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can not even clock that, you know. Tic Tac mm-hmm. is coming. All right, cool. Let's move it. Um, D Dot says United aren't the finished article yet. With more signings, we can transition into a playing style like Ten Hag at Ajax. We still need to get rid of players. Big up the big six panel, says the rude gentleman. Saeed saying tongue in cheek, he means it literally. Seductive Saeed telling us how he moves with big batty gal. What the <laughs> hell is that super yeah, this, this What is the hell is that? <laughs> you gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen. He says mad, mad shit, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it slide. What are you telling what me? What the hell is that? Boogie man, he says <laughs> life is peak for Grizz. Live, lose a pool is a humbler. No, life is different. Life is different. Matt, he says, we talk about Jesus and Zinni being winners in Arsenal, but Casemiro and Varane come with winners mentality and the dark arts. Life is different for them right now. Let's see chest from top. Right. I think you have. And you're right, Varane and Martinez, both World Cup winners, and both have won titles in their in the leagues they've come from. So that's the winner as well. They're winners. Big time. Andre says Harry Kane has scored hundreds of goals just to have less medals than a mediocre player like Weghorst. Football is a cool sport. Mish says, anyone surprised? Ten Hag took over a Ole squad who finished second. Added 400 million worth of players since then. We all said a competent manager would be winning the league with this team. It's not rocket science. Yeah, if football was black and white then, yeah. But there was a lot in that, though. The mentality of the squad, they just, they didn't want to play football. So he had to change a lot mentally, ment- mentally as well. So not as easy to spend in money. Other, other clubs will know that, won't they? Lucas says, I'm a United fan and we won't be back until we challenge for the league consistently every year. We have made a good start. Let's just keep building. Agree on that. Um, Boogeyman says, big up Matisse. You are working hard, my brother. Watching you sleep, listening to Grizz is epic. I heard your name in your first child subscribe and second child like in the future. Is it true? <laughs> He's not ready to talk yet. He's going to be ready real soon. Don't you worry about that. Saeed, I think it's time we deserve our flowers for selling you two world-class players. Time for you to beat Liverpool at Anfield and we'll take care of business on the 15th. Damn. Thank you very much. Madridsters, big up to you, man. appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? BY says, much love from New York, except for Tobes with his Nas slander. Saw Tobes' favourite rapper sell out MSG on Friday night. <laughs> I forgot about that. We still got to do Nars that. Nas slander. I, I love Nas. Yeah. It's just a Tim Pop Mickey Mouse trophy. Saeed on the League Cup last year on this stream and now celebrates like he won the World Cup. <laughs> you make it up quotes, you lot. Is that what we're doing now? Make it up quotes and that, yeah. Right. <laughs> that I can't doing. lie. I went on Saeed's Twitter to see if he said any slander last year, but he actually didn't. He, that was, well, on Twitter. was yeah, That's on Twitter, though. Like, we need to see. We need someone to do the I work. Don't even like, you know. I don't even investigate it, you know. Turkish on YouTube. I had to do a quick search. I had to do a quick search. I did a quick search, you know. Brother, you got time in your hands, didn't it? Is, what is the time? Fucking hell, mate. People pay for super chats, yeah? 
and the yeah. comment and the quote will seem so mad. You're like, no, it's Saeed. Yeah, because it's just me in it. I'm just that And kind then of they'll like... send evidence. They'll send evidence in the DM. So if you have evidence of that super chat, bro. Yeah, then we can have a chat next week. Send it into the big six inbox. But there's, there's editors. Otherwise, there's also editors, though. That's defamation of character. That's no, but there's also character. editors on here that are very good at their, they're clever at their editing skills. Oh, so they might do correction. You don't so know you think that someone, so you think someone's basically gone out of their way to do a deep fake on you saying that? Listen, I, more than you can believe, you never know. There's people like, bro, the man <laughs> no, they have the time. Time. Now, they Bro, have the listen, there's, there's mad things that have happened. So I'm, I, I want to see proper, authentic, you know, videos. I want to see authentic with the, with the watermarks, everything. You know what I mean? Everything has to be incognito. So I ain't looking to, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. This is serious allegations, man. <laughs> My love says, is the quadruple on? Grace should investigate Saeed. We need some questions answered today. Blaze says, United fans need to humble up. There's no guarantee that they're back or will be. Remember when Chelsea were claimed to be only a striker away from dominating the Premier League so long ago. Apologies, Grizz. It's all love. Just relax, mate. I was watching Carnage and left to watch the big six. Thought you'd be late. <laughs> yeah, he spells out GGMU for you, Grizz. Enjoy, my brother. Enjoy. Um, where are we? Stop it, says Toby. Klopp has been in charge for seven years. All the quadruple talk turned into an underwhelming season. Ten Hag is six months in. Salty rivals. And why are all you clowns forcing Saeed to say we're in a title race? Our squad is not good enough. Top four and a trophy would be a successful season. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish, are you going to get the other thing? Would love to link and chat. Big yourself up every time. I'm not, but I might make my way to the stadium after um, Tony Adams statue where the interviews are done. So you might see me there. Let's see what the result says. Um, that's a Chelsea one. That is a Chelsea one. United won't win the title this year, but neither will Arsenal. City will run with it easily. As far as we are, as far as we are back goes the league. As far as far, we are back goes the league. Used to be a two-fold, and now it is a six-fold. Don't know about six-folds. Don't really know what you're saying here, my guy. But yeah. Not for the super chat. I think that's all the United won. Actually, here it is one more. Said as an Arsenal fan, honestly, I'm gutted. You won yesterday, but credit to United. I'm happy for you as well. It's fascinating how football can change. Come on, man. all these super chats, man. Come on, that's what it's about. It is. Man. Come on, all right, cool. All the United ones are in. United don't play midweek, nope. It's only Arsenal and West Ham FA Cup, but yeah, no Premier League. Yeah, no Premier League. Oh, here, here's one more. Liverpool celebrated open top bus parade because they had the FA Cup, Carabao Cup. We finished second behind City Cup, lost to Madrid because of Van Disney Cup. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was gonna be a super chat back in you, but it turned out otherwise. Big up, big up Barry. Big up Barry. And yeah, let's move. What are you saying, Matisse? London is red. Is that is that why the color scheme has changed? Or... What's going on, man? <laughs> He's coming out like the like cane. There's only a couple of like I don't know how else to work it out. Either he's portraying he's in hell. Yeah, he's in hell. <laughs> or Oh, he's already, you know, when like certain goats know they're about to get cooked and oh. they just go in the oven themselves. <laughs> 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 said, Fuck it. Let me okay, cook it yeah. so, Let me you're help. On mute. You're on mute. He's there's cooking no, himself. There's no microphone in microphones in, 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 in hell. Oh, now he's gone off. I am in the oven. <laughs> he's in the oven. <laughs> I am in the oven. Okay. Put him on a full screen. It's true. Cool. This deserves full screen treatment. Let me just let me just pull him up here. Go on, talk talk to the people, Matisse man. Cook yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome to Take hell. Time. Welcome to. Let me get my popcorn. Hell, we have arrived. We lost against Tottenham away, a stadium that we used to rule. We used to rampage the place where we used to shit in the toilet bowl. We had their own fans in our worst form ever, quivering. And here we are now after a defeat. 2-0. I have nowhere else to run, nowhere else to go. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Football is overrated, okay? F1 starts next fucking week, lads. All right? Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes, I'm done. Goodbye. This is the end. Big Six, replace me. Newcastle, take my position. I don't care anymore. 
<laughs> I am numb to this, okay? I don't Chill feel pain. Chill pain. Chill I don't feel Chill pain. Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea, 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 what, for what you have to go through on Mondays. Nobody wants to see this. Nobody wants to be me right now. I have to come here and explain in front of the judge and jury in the courts as to why we are so shit. Yeah. And I, uh, Your Honor, we're guilty. I'm sorry. Yeah. The life yeah. imprisonment, man. Tell is the it, victim, is I'm it 40, sorry. Is it, is it a case of 40 points you must? <laughs> oh, now you want to talk. No. No, I'm asking a question. Like, and not, I was man. saying this on this very show. No. On this very no. platform, no. in this very seat, no. we must no survive. Three, three, uh, Tobes, you say that relegation. No. They need three wins, Tobes. I can't lie. I can't lie. Yeah. Oh. Even though you must, I, I actually like you know fair for Chelsea at the minute. Like they, 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 they are bad. They bad. Uh, no, no, not even bad. They are shit. You know. They are fucking. You look are shit. Enzo <laughs> Fernandez, brother. Can we can we talk about him like? Brother, it, it, you can talk Edward about Fernandes whatever thing? you want. I don't even care. You do. Bro, care. Brother, yeah. Say yeah, whatever yeah. you want. I'm done. I've 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 led I've led the Chelsea segments long enough. You know when Bridge Toby. just says, just talk. Say what Toby. you just say. What you got to say. I Toby, mean, don't. Help. Toby, don't. Toby, don't let him burn because we don't like burn food. Drag him out of the oven and we can drag him out again because yeah, he does care. He needs to care. Don't Ooh. let him burn. He's Ooh. trying to just quick death. We want to give yeah. him slow. Yeah. Mm, slow, yeah. slow cooker settings. Slow, slow cook settings. I'm just trying to get burnt out there, like yeah, done with it. Like, drag 100%. him out of the oven with his from his legs. Cook Enzo should have stayed, man, at Benfica, man. That's all. But I'm can saying. we shout out all the Chelsea fans that were celebrating on social media like mad when Todd Bowley came in and started spending money and cooking other fans like you thought we're dead, we're money, we're money. Yo, Toby done one of them videos as well, and not Toby, Matisse. Oh, yeah. Flashing the ca- yeah, yeah, with a no, flash with the best cash. of enemies, man. Best of enemies yeah. came on with a money gun and started spraying it around in a three piece suit. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> now look at you. Where's your three piece suit? Still, I still got the gun. <laughs> still got the gun. We still That's rich. not loaded. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, pellet gun, man, from around the corner. You know them little pellet guns? Mama's got one of them pellet guns, man. I'm telling you. Like we can see what kind of, what, what kind of um, gun you got, man. But I think minor, that I think, minor thing, minor thing, <laughs> handle lighter, bro. I think, I think the discourse is around look around the manager whether he goes or stays, right? That's one thing. But I want to ask you about your owner and what's his plans now? Do you reckon, Matisse? How does he go about fixing this situation long term? Like short term, all right? You sack Potter. I don't know who do you bring in. Who? I, in fact, I'd like to know who you'd you'd want in there. But I think it's the owner needs to make some calls and. Will this talk about structure? Does he back the new manager with another 300 million? Like, how does this work? Where does this end? Um, uh, first of all, I don't know who I want in charge currently. Uh, maybe terrible. having maybe having no manager would be the way to go, considering Southampton's win and Tottenham's <laughs> win. <laughs> so there's that's that's an idea that nobody's ever spoken about. Why don't we just have no manager? Um, no manager bounce. Um, so yeah, there's there's many names flying around. There's Enrique, there's Zidane, oh. who I don't think would ever come to us, considering he's very carefully mapped out his managerial career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heritage. He, he, looks he, heritage, he looks at heritage. Yeah, what, why would he dare come to us in this situation? Then you have links to Thomas Frank. I saw today Pochettino. Um, you know, Hansi Flick. So many names are going around. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the answer. Um, I just know that. Potter's position for me is untenable at this point. You know, you lose, I, I already snapped last week when he lost against Southampton. So this Tottenham one actually didn't hurt me as much. Um, still hurt, but not as much. The, what hurt was the phone calls from expressions, from rants, from flawless, from DG, from everyone. Only only Grizz had some words of encouragement for for me. Um, you never walk alone, brother. You never walk alone. Yeah, never walk alone and all that. So. 
one yeah. for the managerial shortlist, bro. Who? John Terry. Oh, Unis yeah, is, exactly. Unis is, yeah. Unis is out here campaigning for John Terry. Unis, I know. Jo- Jose you know, Mourinho was mentioned as well. You know, all you can eat Chelsea, so let's eat. I'm hearing... John Terry. I haven't eaten in I haven't eaten in months. We uh, like we've only yeah, scored it looks, it looks we've only scored numbers. one goal this month. I'm I've, I'm eating off the same goal every week. Felix mm. against West Ham. I'm yeah, just talk eating. to me about John Terry. Talk this is this this, this is the equivalent of reheating takeaway for like five days in a row. This is what I'm doing with the Jao Felix. Uh, on the real though, do you think do you think Potter's actually going to go? I don't like think soon. he's going to. I don't think he's going to be sacked um, until latest Dortmund. Maybe if he gets knocked out to Dortmund in the Champions League. Which is more than likely, considering they've won every single game this year and they're top of the Bundesliga, oh, um, and we're one 0 down. He has <laughs> leads at home. You're home for that one, though, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Home, home, yeah, exactly. Don't it matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, matter. That makes it worse. If you go when out... you have when you have two wins in sixteen, it doesn't matter if you're at home, away, um, neutral. Uh, it doesn't matter. More day you can't believe Turkish. It doesn't yeah. matter anymore. <laughs> You know how bad it is here when you, we're actually on this show here and we're actually not even cooking, you know, Chelsea. Now, even me, I'm I'm actually quite embarrassed right now because I can't find words to cook Chelsea because that shit. You know, that's what that's what probably you guys felt last year when I was it was under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It was that Correct. shit. You were like, you know what? You might have been bad at club. Like Chelsea are now the banter club now. You might have Yo, spent six hundred million off the drop. We, yeah, yeah, you, you might have. Six goals. You'll love this stat, side. We scored six goals since November the 6th. In, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the worst yeah, yeah. all top four flight divisions in England. What? You have 40 goals in that period. Jeez, man. That's crazy, man. If you were to take away two course points, we would be on 21. You know where that puts us? 17th. Don't run yeah. from expectation. 17th. Relegation no, form. We are in relegation form. Yeah, you are. But we are don't... out of both cups and we are on don't... the cusp of being knocked out the Champions League. With a new manager that came in. That's a new cool. manager that came in because the elite manager was sacked. Manager that got us to two cup finals last year during sanctions. A manager that won the Champions League. Points. Was world champions. He's got 10 points this season. Yeah. Can I bat in there though? And this is what this is what this is this no, is no no can I ask you something? You said you lost an elite manager, right? And then I want to ask you at that point, you lost an elite manager because your new owner didn't want him. Who would yeah. you have preferred to stay on? Because Bro, I didn't I, I didn't get any time to think. He sacked him and then he hired Potter within 24 hours. I didn't but, even but, I didn't, no, 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 it was no, no, like no. The, it was like the it was like the Tottenham goal. Half time, one nil. We didn't even get chance to even gather our things, bro. No, but what I, I'm I saying didn't, I didn't no, even no, no, see no. the goal. I don't mean that. I don't mean that, my guy. What I'm saying is you got a new owner in that didn't like the coach and he sacked the coach. Would you have preferred to keep Tuchel and not the new owner then? Because you're... That, it looks like that's you're... Not, yeah, no, no, I'm not, that's not an option, obviously. So Because the new... Yeah, because the new owner... Yeah, option, he gave I'm you money. Say, I'm example, just saying... If you've got another it, owner, he might not have given you that fund, that saying, money. You, you can do two things. You can either get the recruitment team around the manager that you feel is not able to, you know, work alongside you and then you can create that um, pathway from the squad to the board with a Christopher Vell, a head of recruitment, etc. You wait with that elite manager and you build a recruitment team around him as Klopp has been done at Liverpool. Or you wait a bit longer before you sack him and you actually do your due diligence or you bring in a director of football first and then get the manager. And, and, that is, and that would have been lovely. But it wasn't what happened. wasn't what transpired. And they gave Potter a five-year deal. All the Chelsea fans had to suck it up suit and tie, head out to work, smiles on faces, we go out there and we we back our man. But at this current moment, he is doing a horrendous job. And 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 I love to give him all the context. I, I try to say, listen, if he can just be inconsistent in terms of wins, losses, draws, and we can get to the end of the season, if he finishes outside top four, it's below our standard, as Toby says, but fine, we'll write off the season and we'll go to the summer and we go from there. But when you are in 10th and you are constantly losing football matches and you are making silly decisions and you're not impacting games and you're not able to make... You're, like, you're playing Ziyech over Madueke, where it's meant to be a long-term project. You're picking right. Kulabali over Badi Ashile. It's meant to be a long-term project. Right. Now, now you're saying that there's too many players, which was inevitable. There's going to be complaints. And now he's saying there's training methods apparently are not getting through. You have the opportunity and you have the power to be decisive and to chop that squad into half or into two thirds and say to seven or eight players, go and chill in the reserves. You, you're going to be coached by this, by this person for the rest of the season. You're not part of my plans. You have the power... 
and you're not being ruthless enough. And it makes me sick to my stomach when people are asking me about Ten Hag. The complete opposite is happening over in Manchester. The ruthlessness dealing with Ronaldo. The way he speaks, we are going to beat Barcelona together. We want more trophies. They fly back on the same night of a cup final and they go ready for the next game in the FA Cup to go and pick up another trophy. While we have three days off this week, right? Which I wasn't even complaining about because mental fatigue and all that. But then we have three days off only to come and have two shots on target against Fraser Foster, 37-year-old Fraser Foster, who is waiting to be pounced upon with that Tottenham defence that has the worst defensive record in the top 10 and we don't lay a single glove on them. And then, just before you think it can't get any funnier after Oliver Twist, Packet and Crisp, Skip scores his first Tottenham goal, then we have fucking Raheem Sterling marking Harry Kane. I can't be asked. How stupid there. do you have to be to have Raheem shaking the bum Sterling on Harry Kane? Why marking Harry Raheem? Kane. Why are you watching Raheem's cheeks, though? Marking Harry <laughs> fucking <laughs> Kane. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to hear it from you, Tobes. You've been clipped up enough. I don't want to hear it from you. Why are you watching Raheem's cheeks? I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear it from you. You have Raheem Sterling marking <laughs> the most potent, one of the most dangerous strikers on in world football, and Raheem Sterling marking him. And, and it's, it's so funny because, like I said, I didn't even get to see the second goal because I was just literally sitting down into my chair. I pivot to look at my TV. Bang, 1-0 down. Then as soon as Aubameyang is coming on, the cameraman barely, he nearly, he nearly missed the goal himself. He was he was filming Aubameyang coming on. Bang, 2-0. What's the, what's the bruv? It's long. It's mad. it's mad that you said all of this and yet you still can't escape your expectations. It's mad. Ha ha. I'm not laughing. <laughs> you see me laughing. You know what? No. Can I just say, yo, I, I'm, with I'm with Chris on this. You have to look at the owner in all of this because now it's got to the point now where, you know, you know, this guy Potter wants to get sacked. Have you seen his energy in press conferences? Like he's talking about, yeah, just come from a crisis meeting. Like he's very, very like cocky about it. He don't really give a shit. He's talking about Arteta and the process he had. Hold on a minute. You spent a lot of money. Arteta was had a had a had a had a rubbish squad and he had to assemble it and whatnot. And he's comparing himself to Arteta. This guy is actually taking a piss now, Graham, Graham Potter, you know. I feel sorry for him before, but I'm now thinking of it, yo, 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 you're now getting a bit too cheeky, cheeky. now. But but this is on now Todd Bo Todd Bowley. Like to now just say, you know what? Press the button now. It's time to stop now. But this is where now you have to put the pressure on the owner now. Say, right, sack this guy now because he ain't good enough. You're just gonna damage limitations now. This is literally damage limitations. It seems and, a bit like and this, um, this is the point. Is that isn't Potter it? just wants to pay, he wants a severance pay, and he can just you know get out of that project altogether. This is this is this is this is you have to he's in a, have a particular Matisse top bowley because if he goes and he sacks um Graham Potter, he he's going like down the, yeah, the Roma boot, idiot. isn't he? Which just if the, there's no instant success, you're gone, kind of thing. But if he sticks it out and it comes good in six, seven months' time, if they have the patience I, for it, I, it looks I, I very good on Todd Bowley's. I wouldn't call it the Roman route because Roman would have never hired him in the first place. And, would, and, and would Roman him, Roman would have sacked him. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Sacked him about five times already. Yeah. He would have sacked him. And then he would sack him again. And he would sack him again. And he would sack him again. I you miss Roman now. The fact that he's still here is very anti-Roman. Don't me, Roman. It's very patient of him. Because at Chelsea, you know, you would have been sacked ages ago if this was what you was doing. Do you know what I mean? So there's no way, first of all, that this is Roman. I would say that just because he doesn't work out, first of all, it's a massive L on the board. I agree with you. Todd Bowie looks very foolish um, because they put everything into this guy. They put all their stocks. They have, it's like investing in Bitcoin at the wrong time and then your stocks just plummet. Now you have, you're have you in debt. Do you know what I mean? Now you owe money. Now you have to remortgage the house. That is the kind of L magnitude of the L we're talking. But just because you want a long-term project, it doesn't mean you have to put up. It doesn't mean you have to put up with an unlimited amount of nonsense in terms of performance and in terms of results. You can get a long-term project like at Man United and still have success along the way from the very start with somebody who wants to win now, but is also willing to be um, pragmatic enough to, you know, win matches. And then in la latter years, he'll, I'm sure Ten Hag will put his philosophy in place. The league title takes, you know, stability. It takes long-term thinking. It takes management, um, commitment on a management level to one guy. But Cups... I mean, cups you can you can just win them, right? They're there. So I like I like to think that we could still you know go on a long term um, 
P word, right? But you have to make sure you're doing it with the right person. Otherwise, you're just wasting time and you're literally just dragging, dragging yourself into, into doom, into hell, yeah. which is where I'm currently in. So, yeah, it's long. There's process, but then there's, there's this great important, man. I just find it crazy, man. Like, And this is why I kept banging on about it, yeah. Like, it's not all about being a like a good tactician, man, in the Premier League now. You've got to be a good personality, man. You know what I mean? And, and this is where now Premier League managers now, I think these these kind of coaches now, I don't know if they're going to last in the Premier League, you know, because if you're looking at now, um, you know, the Lopetegui, he's doing well now, personality. You're looking at um, the, the manager for Aston Villa now, Unai Emery, top, top managers. And I'm not trying to dismiss Graham Potter, but you need a personality, man, to manage these top, top teams. I just don't think he has that authority. I don't think he, he, he lacks. He doesn't. He lacks inspiration. I think them Chelsea you, play now. I'm almost looking at him thinking, well, who is he really? Like, in the do you know what it is? Do you know what it is for me, bro? Yeah, I was trying to not microanalyze him because yeah, he's not going to be somebody that he's. He's not going to pretend to be someone he's not. And no one ever said he was the finished article. He he's literally at this level for the first time. I don't need him yeah. to be the the Klopp and Pep of our club. I don't need him to be this top elite manager who's going to finish off the job. I don't need him to be the, the person that wins titles. I said, yeah. bare minimum, I need you to progress us stylistically because that's what everybody on the panel said. You know, Potter's going to come in, play more attacking football, score more goals, no more free at the back, no more Tuchel can't t- coach and attack. Mm-hmm. All of these things were promised to me by this panel. I am still waiting for said promises to deliver. I'm still waiting. My bad. I'm still waiting for these. <laughs> I'm still waiting for these promises that were made to me by this panel. Boring, boring, fucking Chelsea. One goal in February. You but, man owe me something. No, no, I don't man, owe you. No, 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 I'm no. spinning this shit. You, you man, man owe me something. You spoken a lot. You spoken a lot. You're talking about it. No, 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 no. Spin this shit like a merry-go-round. Welcome to the fucking roundabout, Toby. Welcome to the roundabout. You man, better. You better bring me something. Two shows part of the problem, man. You better fucking bring me something. You owe me something. Two shows part of the problem. Y'all, y'all, you know, owe me something. Go on, spinning this shit. No, go on, say go on. Not you, Tobes, because you didn't, what you I'm didn't, gonna didn't say stand the two no, Hold on a minute. Right, two things can be right. Two shell is part of the problem as well. It's down to your owner to find the appropriate manager to replace Potter, not me. Two shell was also part of the problem. Let's not kind of do this revisionism. Oh, it was all rosy on the two shell. No, it wasn't. You were playing Raheem Sterling at left wing back. So don't give me this nonsense about, oh, I shouldn't have gone at two shell. It was part of the problem as well. So don't give me this, mate. No, I think we played a part. I think, <laughs> I think I think we played a part in getting one of their best managers out and then getting and that's what I'm for, <laughs> <laughs> We got him. <laughs> they deserve it though. Chelsea fans, they do deserve it where they are right now. No, they deserve it. 100 percent Yeah, yeah, they deserve oh, it. Go harder, go harder. I love no, this no. game. I love they this des- game. They right? deserve beat. <laughs> yeah, there, ain't, there ain't been a fan base this entitled for the last 10, Yeah, bun. All of them, they deserve it. Right, I can't, like, Matisse is my brother. And, you know, yeah, Matisse exactly. is No, more, no, no, no. Matisse, Matisse, yeah. Matisse is more... They've never more... suffered, though, with Turkish. They've never suffered, really, when you look at it. Like, every time they suffer, they get a new manager. So now yeah, it's... Because different. they was born in, in the 2000s, isn't it? They haven't seen much else. <laughs> I'll have you know, that Champions League final defeat in Moscow was very hurtful. Yeah, it was. It was. They're those kids at school and college. Every time they saw someone else with something, yeah, pair of trainers, nice watch, daddy, mummy, uncle, whatever. We want that, and they got we're, it. We're, yeah. we're the 16 year old in America with a pink Mercedes. That's fucking you understand. Shouting. I wanted a fucking you baguette understand. <laughs> I wanted a baguette, Veron. <laughs> it's now it's time they went back to that car park of their ground. The, that part, right? And just there. Yeah, no, but you're going to soon, the way you're going, you're so going to go you bankrupt again. <laughs> yeah, they need they to do. just hold that for a little while now. Still. We, don't yeah, even have, really. we don't even have food stands. Talking about car like, parks, There is no feeling sorry for Chelsea. I don't give a shit. Has any I'm, player done well on the... On, you know, the honestly, no, no player improvement whatsoever. All, no, I know, Patrick, all I know is I need that top four. <laughs> you said specifically on this very show if Chelsea don't beat Tottenham, top four's finished. So you know it's finished. No, mm-hmm. but yes, it's in terms of my feeling towards you getting it, but you still need to get it. I asked you this on my show. Do you think uh-huh. Spurs are gonna win a trophy? 
We're not going to get it, so we move. Do you think Spurs are going to win the trophy? Answer my question. No. No, you don't. What was my expectation at the start of the season? You win it. But you're stupid. Okay. You so, do you that. think my expectations changed? You should not have said that. Foolishness. Foolishness. Yes. Yeah, well, you you what, don't win trophies. Do you, Why would you say something so what silly? Do you think, what do you think is more foolish? What do you think is more foolish? Me expecting a £600 million assembled team to get top four or, or me asking Spurs to win a trophy after 15 years without a trophy? Ah, uh, you got me. Good question. <laughs> 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 Man comes himself for the question, you know. Laughing yeah. at his own pain now. No, like, that's a good yeah. question because you know what I want. You know what I want to say. <laughs> which one? Which, which one sounds more realistic? <laughs> you know, bro, which one sounds more realistic? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm, I'm not. I'm not willing to sacrifice my my, my opinion for this. Yeah, hundred percent. Chelsea, Chelsea top four is way more realistic than Tottenham. Hundred percent. Okay then. Hundred more than you can believe. Wow, more than you can not believe. More your than you team. Your team. Your team. Your team are oh, no. absolutely shit. Facts. I looked at the line. I've looked at the yeah. lineup. Yeah, right. I looked at and I don't even mean shit in terms of like quality because a lot of these players will start at Spurs. But I remember seeing the lineups. And I just said this should really be a mismatch. When you look at the the teams, the way they the way they set out, like the the players we put out versus the players you put out, this should be a mismatch. And it was, oh, it was a mismatch, all right, on the pitch, mm-hmm. and it was scary. We played at six out of, probably like a six out of ten. We didn't even play that well. And you were just there for the taking. You were there for the taking. Yeah. Your boy Enzo, culpable for the first goal, right? Mm. I ain't even gonna mention Donny up top, number 29. I've spoken on him enough times here. He is just he's just a ghost. <laughs> he, was meant, he was meant to flourish with all these oh, players. Yeah, yeah. Number 29, do you do you not remember the one that the one that won them the Champions League? So that means he's not been a flop. You remember yeah. him? Generational. Yeah, yeah generational. Oh, shy, oh, shy dry. Generation. Shy dry. Shy dry. <laughs> generation. Yeah, cry, yeah, cry yeah. habits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we eat biryani tonight. <laughs> <laughs> cry habits, yeah. And Ruben, Ruben lost his cheek. And Cheeks. Cheeks. In the mid- Cheeks. And- <laughs> He's a new link guard, man. He's a new link guard. The promising Bro, talent. Man. Matisse, I, 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 like, I'm not even... The thing is, I've cooked you so many times in here. I actually just want to talk, right? Because <laughs> what I saw, I me. could not actually talk believe my eyes. Because I knew how shit you were this season, but my goodness, yeah. right? I said this to you on London Club's Carnage. I've never watched an easier Spurs v Chelsea game. On my life, I've never watched an easier Spurs v Chelsea game. Yeah, in the league, in the bruv, I've never seen one that easy, and I don't mean easy in the sense where Spurs are oh, were bossing Chelsea because I don't, as I said, I don't actually think we played that well. I think we defended well, but I don't think we played that well. I've seen Spurs play much better than that, no and fact. the fact that we 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 put in an, a barely above average performance and cruised to a two 0 lead that speaks volumes about how bad Chelsea are right now. Like it's. Mm. I don't even know what you can call this now because you didn't even look like scoring. Defensively, you weren't that great. Ben Chilwell, who you, who you guys were asking for to come back from injury, he was rubbish against Kulisevsky. Reese James, I think I saw him put in what, like maybe like two crosses all game? Bro. It's looking <laughs> a bit. Mm. Bro. Injuries, the maybe. Yeah, man. Kepa, I was hearing all this hype about Kepa. Oh, Oh, take take back what you said on Kepa. Oh, he won us the Club World Cup. Oh my God, he won us the Super Cup. He is shite. He's mm. crap. S H I T. He's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish goalkeeper. Even Zhao Felix, he got pammed physically. He got pammed to smithereens yesterday. <laughs> he got bullied, man. He got pocketed by Edison. He just got bullied, bro. Mm. So I just, <laughs> I'm watching this team. I'm like. How the hell? How the hell does this team cost six hundred million? Because you look worse than the same Chelsea team that played in August or whenever was it August under mm. Thomas Tuchel. I actually felt the heat. Like we were lucky to come out of there with two with a point. To mm. The other day, I'm like, <laughs> what's going on here? Honestly, terrible, absolutely terrible. And Graham Potter, my goodness, my goodness, man. He doesn't have a clue right now. I've got to say it. Like, 
I can give him all the allowances in the world. I can attack so many players, but the guy doesn't have a damn clue. Mm. Finished. And I hope your glasses fog up every time. <laughs> every time you watch Chelsea. I want you to feel that heat, bro. I want you to feel that heat. This is what you deserve. You and the rest of that fan base, this is what you deserve. Mm. So you know what I mean, you can say, oh, I <laughs> You can say like all the words. Kind of bad, bro. Cup final, you. This is your cup final. I don't care what you say. I'm talking about Chelsea fans exclusively. You deserve this. Mm. You deserve everything you're getting. Hold that. <laughs> man only looked up now. You know. You know what, man? I, I think Jeez. even. Um, don't you remember what? Don't you remember what fucking Jose said, my guy? Don't you remember? Chin up, man. Chin up, man. Chin up, man. It was actually Jorginho that did that one time. Jorginho, we're talking about previous. Jorginho, no, I think you'd love to have Jorginho ahead of that Enzo Fernandez. I tell you that. No, no, okay. He said no. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> I mean, don't know, man. Enzo what? since the World Cup, man. I don't know what's going on with him, mate. But bloody hell, mate. One hundred and twenty. Should have stayed at Benfica. We we could have had a plan for him. You know, next summer with Ten Hag, Casemiro. You know, we could have had a plan for him. But he's on what an eight, eight, nine year deal or something like that. Twenty, twenty, thirty six or something. Yeah, man. It's all right. it's all good. It is what it is, man. You get me. But you know what? Tottenham, we need to give credit to Tottenham as well, man. It's a Do big we? win. Anyway, another manager. Way. Yeah, another. The assistant manager got now four wins, is it now? The assistant manager is on a roll, man. Totally. Three. It yeah. should be getting top four now. On the real, Tottenham should be getting top four for sure, man. With the way Chelsea are playing, Liverpool playing catch up, Newcastle don't look the same. You're in a good position. Yeah. Spot, we should have been got, we should have we should have been in the in the mix for top four even before all of that. Like my expectation this season was third or fourth. So I don't really care what happens with these other sides. My expectation was for Spurs to finish third or fourth. I don't run from expectation like Matisse. So if Spurs finish fourth, it's the expectation. It's what I want. If we don't finish fourth or third, it's a failure. It's that simple. It's that simple. Mm. Yeah, but it is prime for you now. I can't lie, but I get what you're saying because all of us predicted Tottenham to be in the top four, I believe, at the start of the season. Yeah. Uh, Where yeah, did you I'm, predict Chelsea to finish? I didn't predict. You know what? I didn't predict them in the top four. You know, I think I might have predicted fourth for Chelsea. You know, hmm. no, 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 fifth. I didn't. Fifth, fifth. Yeah, I, really? yeah. I, I said someone else. Is is different, different, man, man, different man in charge. So, is what it is. we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to recap. We're gonna have. We're gonna have a recap mm. anyway of our predictions. Now nah, let's not recap. But let's not recap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. <laughs> let's not recap. What is worth? I actually don't think that, like we should get it, but. First should do a lot of things, and we we managed. You've got the points though, but well, Liverpool Liverpool got games in we got, hand. We got, we got to go ahead, man. And, we got to go ahead. <laughs> go man. relax, man. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying it's about winning the game. The games in hand and all that. Like if Spurs yeah. don't finish the fourth this time round, I genuinely believe this is the end of this. Is the last, like they won't see Champions League football again for at least five years. At least five years if they don't get top four this year. Nah, I get with, that the, with, the, with the resurgence of all the other teams, and then yeah. all the other teams. And then all yeah, the other teams. Yeah. What, does that, yeah, what does that mean for you? But what does that mean for you then? What does that mean for us? So you you're talking about, you you're talking about how that. we're going to be pissed. What does that mean for Liverpool? Yeah, we're nasty, you know. I've admitted that. We're, we're not. But we'll be you back. Know, I'm, I'm saying, telling you, we'll be back. I'm saying no, you no, won't no. be back. Yeah, but what I'm you're saying, how do, you know, how do you know for sure you'll be back? No, man, you're it's better. not for sure. Now. That's like our opinions. We're here to give our opinions, not give facts. Exactly. That's what I'm asking. You're saying that. You're saying that we won't. Reach the promise land for the next five years, which is my which opinion, is, and I think you agree. No, no, yeah, that's why I said it. I don't even think that's yeah. That's, so, why are you arguing with me if you agree? I'm not arguing with you, I'm asking you are arguing with me. I want you to apply the same analysis for Liverpool. What does that leave Liverpool as well? I, I think we'll be back, okay. Cool. <laughs> Our yeah, future ain't as bleak. Uh, your manager's gonna leave. Your if your manager leaves, possibly your striker's gonna leave. We've been through this. We your manager might leave too. Okay. No, our manager ain't gonna leave. Like, why are you doing Chungrito once, Tic Tac boy? We, you, you just cussed us. He's annoying journalist. me today. He's on my mind. And now he's you're starting it. And now you're starting it on my manager, man. A lot of that. Our manager ain't getting nowhere. Our managers come out and said, "Doesn't matter how shit we are. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to stay. We go again. That's I guess fine. we want to segue into Liverpool game. That's fine. He's here this season. You don't stink. So, boy. Yeah. Let's do, let's finish off the Chelsea business, man. I just I'm want to wrap with Toby a little bit. You want to cut my teeth like that? To be honest, they're just. But you, but you, but you must finish fourth now, Toby. You must. Now it's your mm. turn. Saeed. Yeah, you must. He must. Uh, Huey. Fine. He That's must. Fine. But the thing yeah. is, yeah, you <laughs> must finish fourth. <laughs> you I must. Think, I think I'm. I'm not going to accept. 
that expectation. We yeah, he expected this issue. Yeah. But, but we have to finish third. Um, third, third. Sorry, we have to finish in the top four. But it's funny how you're talking about expectation, Grizz. What was the expectation for Liverpool at the start of the season? Mm. We already know this conversation. How much did you spend on your strike off? 85 million. How much did you spend in January on Gakpo? 45 million. We already know this conversation. We've had this one. Why are you <laughs> bringing it back? Just because I said so something inside you. We, when we talk about... So the thing is, this is great, man, because I like this whole you must conversation because we spoke about Matisse. We spoke about what Chelsea need to do, what Spurs need to do. What Can I say something? Do. What man... You know, no, 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 no. Let me finish. What do Liverpool need to do this season? Because okay. I don't know Let me why. finish with Jordan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've spoken about how bad you are. That's always right? one man. We, we've spoken about how bad you are, but we haven't really spoken about your targets because yeah. this is a disastrous season for Liverpool. I know. And but he, he wants to skip over. The but... expectations shouldn't have changed. You you are still mathematically in the top four race. So the same way you're telling me about you must get top four, you must chase us down. You must finish above Spurs because you have a better squad on paper. You have a better manager. Facts. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that's true. You know, Chris. Liverpool. You I agree. Must, I agree. About, you must. You yep. must finish above Spurs. You we must both... take us down, and you must finish above us. What's I'm doing it myself, this? brother. I'm doing it myself. We yeah, must. Okay, let's speak. Let's speak. We now, must. I want to hear it. Wanna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we must I challenge you. But my but, no, but no, no, see, no, not challenge. You must finish above us. Okay, we must. Yeah. And but he you must as well. So, but what I'm trying to say. That was. Yeah, but the point. You said you United. No, but the point is, guys, right? I never third. spoke about this season. I spoke about we'll be back next season. That's how much Chester. If it happens next season, then you can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying you won't be back. I'm saying if you don't get top four, the, the whole Maybe point not. of me, like but I know you look, I want to get into about Liverpool. Season, I want to know about this season. I'm thinking if you don't get into Champions League this season, I don't think you're getting into it for about five seasons. That's just the only point I made, and it's triggered you. This, this, you know, what I love about this pressure on other teams, man. I love it, you know. Everyone's running away from the expectation. Can like, someone else yeah. agree or disagree with my point? You're doing it now, Chris. You're doing it now. Can someone else disagree or agree? Like, do you not guys agree? The deflecting in the shows are running away from the grind. Huey, if they don't win, finish top four. Do you do you think they'll finish top four again? I think I don't know. I think five years is a bold statement. I think they will be back for five years. Okay, how many? Okay, how many? <laughs> how many they could do it next season if they get Pochettino in the summer and he gets a tune out of them who knows like there's equal equal yeah, chances yeah. they do to what you do Turkish nobody... Matisse Saeed oh, no, no, I, I actually get what you're saying there's absolutely no guarantee that Liverpool fix up their squad this summer there's exactly. absolutely no guarantee yeah. of yeah. Of yeah. you just seem to have this unbelievable arrogance that FSG and Club really? are going to fix it's not arrogance problem. man it's based on history yeah, we will be back we will be back you're gone for five we'll years we're going to sign Drew Bellingham we're going to sign Enzo Lafay we're going to sign who else who else you've been linked with now. Um, well, and I don't know. I don't know what's this got to do with what I said, guys. Why are you not all got all over the place? Besides, no, 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 no. <laughs> the <laughs> last time, listen, guys. <laughs> the last time I said the big dogs will be back, we nearly won it fucking all. So listen to me when I say we will be back. Please. The big Please. dogs will be back next season. I'm telling you now. Please. Disastrous Please. season. Please. Disastrous Please. season. <laughs> Awful season. If we don't finish top four, it's a disaster. Yeah, so look, look, we look, must look, finish look, top four. Failure, we you know. must. But I'll tell you now, next season, <laughs> we'll be back. Grace, why it's, do you not fans celebrate mediocrity, man? Actually, you know, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to move on to Liverpool. We're going to do a super chat to Chelsea. We nearly fucking won it all. We nearly fucking won it all. Before you move on to Liverpool, I want to actually give people their credit, man. Um, Skip as well. He's had a lot yeah, of yeah, disrespect. Yeah. Matisse, Matisse was calling him Crisp, Skip, whatever, bro. And yet, ah. and yet he pressed your little, your little fairy, your your little fairy boy, Jao Felix, like a pancake the other day. Yeah. 106 million pound Enzo couldn't even pass the Skip test. Couldn't even pass the Hoybier test. Skip test. Right? World Cup winner Enzo, but you have the cheek to come in and call him Crisp, Skip, whatever, bro. <laughs> Level up to him and, and, and X him out of a game and then talk. Yeah? So big up, Skip. Emerson Royale. Yo, I'm sure I'm sure Enzo is about I'm sure Enzo is about to say that um Skip is the toughest midfielder he's faced in his career. I don't think he will say that to be honest, but no, um, he will. The way you're talking, he will. 100%. No, 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 no. I don't league. say the way I'm talking. I just said I'm gonna give him credit. Skip, skip, you, skip. You, you took the piss out of his name, bro. You, you have a midfielder that's probably 
way better than Skip and played significantly worse than Skip on the mm. same pitch the other day. So yeah. when, just, when when we when we smashed Drop three times in a row last season and there's plenty of players that played very well that you take the piss out of their name, what what then? Which players? When we smashed you up three times in a row, loads of those yeah, players. So who played well that I took the piss out of? Kai, all them man. When? Against you three times in a row, I can't when, remember when, which game when, it was. It was one of them games. When? One of them games. We played you three times in one month. We smashed you up all all them times. When did he play well, bro? Whatever game he played, bro. Whatever game he played. Yeah, I, you know what it's though. I think just to kind of we need to wrap up this Chelsea bit here, but I just yeah. think for me. You know, Tottenham, big, big victory. All of this, you know, the skip, yeah, I think he's, he's a decent midfielder, man. Just doesn't get the opportunities, man. I like him. When, when, when they like come him. back in and, and Bentico. But you know what? He's a te- good technical midfielder. All of the managers have spoke well of him. You know, even yeah. when he was at Pochettino. I like him. Uh, Conte, and he's Joseph 22. Williams. I did not know he's only 22. How old did you think he was? I thought, Listen, he's, about, I thought he's one of them older ones that's been playing yeah, in the championship. Yeah, yeah, same as well. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's even, I, I ain't even trying to, trying to come here and, and gas up Skip. Like For me, I feel like Skip is uh, a squad a squaddy. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I, don't, I, don't see him as, I don't see him as the, the creme de la creme, but I, I don't see a bad player there. I, I've maintained that. Like I think he came into the team under difficult circumstances last year. He did well got injured and this season he's not been given the opportunity so I feel like I've always maintained that this is a player that can do a job for Spurs and I feel like he is like Saeed said he is a decent player that actually had a really good performance yesterday Emerson Royale I don't know what's going on in this inverted fullback role wherever he's playing I, yeah, I think you need to apologise because me and you were, do you remember when me and you went to see Spurs why should I apologise I don't understand <laughs> I'm about to tell the world. I'm about to tell the world why you should apologize. I'm about to tell, tell the world. Tell, tell, tell them. So me and you, I had the pleasure of being in your company like two seasons. You know the two all when you got me a ticket. Big yeah. up. Yeah. Last season. Um, yeah, yeah, last season. Yeah. And we were watching Emerson Royale and you was cursing him like mad. And I was cursing him like mad. <laughs> and we were both saying, Why is he on a don't deny it, bro. I was there, witness. No, no, I'm not denying it. I'm saying yeah, so. Apologize to him because now you're smiling like grin, like showing us your toots and teats, right? You need to tell us about Emerson Royale. I wasn't familiar with your game. Nah. Be humble. I'm gonna give him. I, I'm gonna give him credit for his performances, right? I'm going to give him credit for his performances, but it's definitely not the time to be doing up apologies because we're only talking about probably like six or seven games here. I want to see this prolonged. Let me see it prolonged, and then we talk. Has he been your player of the month? Yeah, he has been the player of the month. Yeah. All right, let's do the Super Chats and then move on to Liverpool because we've got predictions to make tonight as well. First up, the big six brother, Big Steve. Good job. I'm nice to these gremlins. Good job. I'm nice. <laughs> these gremlins were all over me in Porto. <laughs> and the brass gaff eating pop people <laughs> spending 600 million on Zach from Save by the Bell. And the Argentinian Peter Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's got away with words, man. I can't even. <laughs> Quick response says, Oh, Roman, do you know what that's worth? Kai Havertz is the. Come on, Matisse, sing it. Sing it. You. Matisse, well, how does that song go? I, I seriously haven't heard it. He's the best on. Oh, bro, let me not. No. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. shit. Is that what they end with? Kai Hermes is the best on earth. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you lot are finished. <laughs> is that how you like ended that song? <laughs> we need we need new songs, man. We need new songs. <laughs> Buy some songs as well. Buy some songs. <laughs> some copyright. That's it. <laughs> you know? Hope's mistress says Todd Bowley is pot is pot our defensive or offensive coordinator, and then we find that he doesn't know about relegation and there's no guaranteed Champions League next year. Memphis Graham Potter bought out the prime angry rant man. I, I saw that video. It's been a while. I hate hearing people comparing Potter to Arteta. Arteta won a cup, had a style of play from the start, and a much worse squad. Love the show, lads. You should all be proud of what it has become. Big love, and that's from Dinsa. Love for the love, as always. David, this Chelsea downfall feels so good. It does. May Potter get a lifetime contract. Two goals in two months after spending the GDP of Mexico. Bottom left in trouble. 
I'll save that one to the end because it's on United. Todd Bowley thinks finishing last in the league will get Chelsea number one draft pick. Uh, <laughs> Potter in. Todd Bowley, that mad guy during lockdown who bought all the toilet paper and left nothing for him. <laughs> <laughs> Kill a super chat. Blue Moon said, look at Matisse. He looks depressed. Looks like he supported Arsenal up until 2022. Your fans are disgusted in any way. Facts. Top 15 finish. Blue Moon, I don't know why you mentioned Arsenal, my guy, because when we was winning shit, you must have been depressed. If you were supporting City, that is. That's the question. I can't believe how short-sighted you all are. Next two years, who's to say United and Arsenal will be good or Chelsea will be 10th? The banter doesn't make sense. Blaze, you're always here as well, but you've never said the banter doesn't make sense, my guy. Now now you're feeling it a bit. The banter doesn't make sense. Interesting. I know Tapping Tobes ain't talking about my super chat. Mr. Quote, there is something in my throat. It's Loftus Cheek. <laughs> Not that that's a classic, you know, a big six classic. But you did my guy. Love the legend. Alhambra says, we're in such a bad situation that Spud's result is least of our woes. We have a sorry excuse of a coach that will be shown the door soon. Don't worry, we'll be back. This one's for you, Grizz. KTB FFH. What does that actually mean? I see that all the time from Chelsea fans. Something about the blue the blue flag Badge, flying. The badge. Keep the blue flag flying high. Keep the blue flag flying high. Jesus Christ. Bro, if I type that into my phone, I'm like, Jesus what? Christ. You say Jesus Christ, your slogan is the game is about glory. I wouldn't get too ahead. Yeah, and I, I don't like a lot of things about my club. So right, now cool. what? So suckle down then. Suckle down what? Is that not corny as hell? Bro, your whole club is finished from. Yeah, you're right. Tobes, next, Tobes, next time you're no. in uh, next yeah. time you're in Nigeria, type that in, you might get free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? KFTB and and you lot are nuts, man. Stick to that Hawkeye habit song. Hey, well, what was the atmosphere saying at Anfield after the after the second goal? I wasn't there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> He's He's, how are you gonna find chess when we're doing super chats? I don't get He's it. Got some sass now, hasn't he? No, I'm just I'm just not liking this this, this accumulation, uh, mortization of hate. It's too much. <laughs> oh. Is that your club? It's not at you, man. Don't take it personally. <laughs> I'm in, the, I'm in hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, deserve it. you deserve it. Nate says, didn't the Dortmund CEO say Tuchel is extremely difficult to work with and now Bowley is throwing darts at a board blindfolded to sign <laughs> players? Gareth, I'm going to save your one for the end because we've already discussed United. The race to 40 points might be real for Chelsea. Seven out of 14 remaining games against teams above them, including going to the Etihad, Emirates and Old Trafford. Shit! Yeah, it's big. Joel says, what does the fans expect when owners have buried Potter with 33 senior players? You can only pick 18 to 21 players. That's 12 left unhappy. I feel it for him to be fair. Victor says, Sterling played wing back under Potter. By the way, Saeed, do your research properly. HW, can we talk about Felix? My fan base cried over missing out on him like he was messy. Clamped by Oliver Twist. Decisive action. No homano, just roulettes like a casino. Let me not start on J Balvin, Harrison Reed as well. On Felix, listen, I, I was one of the people that wanted him and I still would want him. I think Chelsea's situation is so dire that, that even quality players are drowning at the moment and Felix would have been different at Arsenal, in my honest opinion. HKN says, Chelsea fans have been spoilt for years. They are similar to Barca and Madrid fans. The only problem now is that Step Daddy has tried to overcompensate and messed everything up. And he also adds, I hope Newcastle get top four. Spurs, Liverpool and Chelsea don't deserve Champions League football. Bunch of frauds. PSV says, Matisse representing his team well. Red light district settings. Getting backdoored week in, week out. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy to hear a Chelsea manager compare himself to an Arsenal manager. Long way from Mourinho and Wenger days, says O'Malley. Wow, that's a great super chat. Damn. Damn. Mm. That time. Chin up Matisse will win another <laughs> trophy before Spurs. Bowley didn't have the structure in the club he does now when he appointed Graham Pulis. 40 points. Dal Square says, if I was Potter with that 80 mil bag, I'd take a dump in Todd's briefcase. Chin the tea lady and never wear shoes again for the rest wow. of my life. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Chin, one, said chin the tea lady. <laughs> oh, 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 Calling Tobes out just a few weeks ago when Spurs were in bad form, he said multiple times, Spurs won't make top four. And now, steps to the plate. You must. Yeah. 
<laughs> everyone must. Everyone must. Convinced, but we still have to. I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. Hashtag everyone must. We all must. Yeah. We all there's must. Like, there's like six, six teams that need to get into the top four this season. So, boy. A must no, man. Love there's me. no six teams, man. We, me and us two are the only ones that must. The rest yeah. are happy to be there. Huh? <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> yeah, it didn't make sense to me. But what do you mean? Like so, so Man, so Man United, Man City, um, who else? Arsenal oh. are there. Yeah, yeah. And then us two are the only ones that must. And Chelsea, but Chelsea are not getting it. The likes of Newcastle, whatever. I'm saying they're happy to be there. We're the two that must get into the top Listen, four, the fourth place. You never know. United might be pulled back in. You never know. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, she loves United. Says I'm expecting the Pogba treatment for Enzo. By the way. 105 million British pounds for one scan versus Fulham and one assist versus Spurs. One goal or assist per game is the expectation. It's in the pressure. Oh, it's it's, early, it's, days. it's, it's like early days. The Pogba, the, Pogba, the Pogba treatment was Man United fans. You need to you need to remember that. Like don't yeah. don't try and media as well. Media, yeah, me, media from soon as some people like that. Like that's that's a whole different conversation. Yeah, that's a whole. Different. That's how I was saying that was wild, man. Because Pogba was a lot. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't, I don't think. Pogba didn't deserve that that you know to be um, criticized. criticized because yeah. he did hundred percent. And even look at Casemiro, the way he's coming, they're not similar. They're, they're, yeah, they're yeah, not the yeah. same player, but it's levels and the way he stepped up. Yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm waiting for. But Turkish, you know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Man United fans to say, "Oh man, if only Pogba was here when Casemiro was here, he could have unlocked Pogba." Shit, man. Oh, I know, would that's say the, that. Let's, no, that's let's gonna... be real, though. <laughs> That's not gonna make me sick. Oh, no, I Tops, don't do it. it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Tops. It's the truth, though. It's, don't mean, do it. You know me. I'm not even like a Paul. I ain't a Paul Pogba stand like that. But I'm telling you, Casemiro could have given him a, a greater yeah. platform to do his thing, man. Let's let's just call a spade a spade. Yeah, that's not. A spade not for me, not, man. Not, that's a joke. Yeah, that's yeah. a joke. That's a joke card. Uh, Grizz, back to you. Liverpool, um, nil nil away to Palace after a good win against oh. Newcastle, and you've got Wolves coming up midweek. So. Yeah, man. Um, shout out, shout out, Morley's. Uh, what road is it, Tobes? Uh, no, that one's no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Healthy. Shout out, Morley's. Wings were nice, burger was decent. I mean, the game was awful. My man's reviewing fucking Morley's on Big Six. Right, what do you want me to do? You want me to review? What, what do you want me to review from that Liverpool game? <laughs> what do you want me to review from the Liverpool game? I don't want to stick to the point. I'm getting to the point, innit? I got to the ground. I got to the ground. I didn't have expectations. I looked at the team and I sat down. Um, but, but, I'm sorry, Tobes. You're going to have to hit it. I'm going to have to spin it somehow, innit? This is my job. Literally, it's my job. That's three clean sheets in a row. Seven points out of nine. If we can finish that with Fuck. Wolves at home and United at home, mentality monsters. If we get, yeah, brother, my segment in it. If we, but Tobes, hear me out in it, Tobes. Just focus a little. Just a little. I'm little listening. Bit. I didn't say all right, anything. All right. I'm just saying seven points out of nine. If we can finish off Wolves and if we can end the title charge of Man United, we're back in the driving seat for top four. But it's a massive if. The way we're playing, I can't see us. Can't see us doing that business, but we're unbeat. One defeat in five, three clean sheets in a row. If you t if remember a few weeks ago, we were sitting there saying Newcastle away, Palace away, and Everton. Boy, how much you looking? If we told me, if you offered me seven points, then, brother, I told you then I would snap your hands off. So yeah. now Wolves at home, we gotta finish it. If we don't beat Wolves at home, then this this, this result looks like a disaster. Right now, it looks bad. No, I think that result is bad altogether because Palace... I don't think so. A lot of teams have gone on there and uh, not won. Man United, Man City, a few other teams. I think you're one as well. I'm not Man City, as... have they played there this season? No, Scott, it's next week. I don't know what he's done about. Yeah, I, don't so... know. I don't know about that bit as well. Then. Yeah, we went there. We went there. We, we went there in a four on a four. We hit them for four. <laughs> what was the so... Chelsea score there? Brother, we lose to everybody. They so won. I'm just saying... They won. They won. They won. They won. They I'm just saying just a lot of teams there. have not won there. A lot of teams haven't won there. No, that's not... Did, 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 did we we the context. They, they didn't have Zaha. Eze was on the bench. 
Um, That's because he didn't pick him, in it? It's not my fault it, as it was oh, on the pitch. That is that is an advantage to Liverpool, though, no? Mm. Can someone tell me? Can someone tell me who the teams were that I mean haven't won at Palace? Because I think they got a decent record there. But we were shit. Briz, you, you were, were up against you were up against Mateta and Ayu. They are two of the worst players in this league. And they caused problems. And Palace Palace should have won. They didn't have a shot on target. Palace should have won that game. Not a zero shot on target. Yeah, they shouldn't have won that game. That's, that's two players. I'm not having that. Grizz, I'm not having that. Grizz, Palace uh -uh. That, on chances, Palace no. should have won that game. No, we, we hit the post and we hit the crossbar. What are you talking right. about? They hit the crossbar as well. I know, but that's what I'm saying. So does that mean they won? Wait, 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 wait. Toby's saying they should have won. I'm saying we were crap, but nil nil was the perfect result. It was dead. But the nil nil, it wasn't the perfect result though, because you literally. No, I didn't them. say the perfect result. I'm saying that was the perfect result for the performance of both teams. You can't tell me they deserve to win. No, I'm not having it. I'm having the slander of Liverpool, but not having that. They did deserve to win because I thought like they gave you gave them okay. like, two or three golden opportunities to to, to go one nil up, and they didn't take it, bro. Okay, that's on fine. Chances, I, I don't I put, think so. On, on chances, on chances, we were they, poo. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. So that's that's what I want to talk about. Right, like, you guys are actually shit. Like you're actually crap. I don't. I don't even know what it is anymore. You best now. hope we better not finish above you, then, brother. Bro, Spurs are not good. How many times do I have to come in and say this? So I how many times have to say the same shit? I can't believe we're fourth. Did you not see our run of form? I cannot oh. believe we're fourth. This is this is the point I make to Matisse all the time. Why I say Chelsea, you must be top four because we have not been a good side and we're fourth. Mm. So when I'm saying to you guys with Liverpool, you're actually crap. I'm watching you play. Your midfield cannot keep the ball for shit. They can't pass the ball into your into your front line. Your defence are gifting the opposition chances week in, week out, week in, week out. Whether it's Van Dijk playing, whether it's Gomez playing. Now, Van Dijk was good. It was Matip. He's, uh, that was like that one of the worst. Trent. Matip and Trent was one of the worst performances I've seen there. But it was the, but it was the midfield. It was the midfield. Naby Keita shouldn't be playing for Liverpool anymore. I've said it openly on my stream, on my channel as well. Naby Keita should have been sold in the summer. Naby Keita, from after the Champions League final, told us we're not. Um, he's not going to sign a new contract. Whoever's fault that was, whether that's the owners or you know the sporting director or Jurgen Klopp that decided to keep him, was a horrendous decision. Can I see that man has got no. That man has got no bottle for the fight, and he's being selected because. Jurgen Klopp trusted his players and midfielders. Now he's realised he fucked up, which is yeah. fine. Fix it now in the it's summer. Not fine though, because you're no, 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 it's struggling. not fine. I get that. I get that. It's not fine, but we can't do nothing about it now. So just fuck it and bury it up now. We're shit. You're right. I looked at that midfield, Tobes, and I sat down. Who sits down in the away end? If you sit, if you sit down in the away end, you don't see the game basically, especially yeah. in Palace. Anyway, yeah. you lot been Palace away. End. Yeah. If you yeah. sit down, you ain't seen shit. Okay. I sat down. Right Everyone was like, what are you doing? I go, look at this. You, you made, We're you not going to create a chance. Good. And we didn't create a chance. Down, yeah? You sat down the way end. About five minutes. That got okay. You know, you know, Grizzly, you made Lakonga look half decent. Like, that's how bad your midfield was. And I'm not trying to dig at Lakonga, but I think he's average to say the least. But now he was shining that midfield. I've got two kind of bugbears with this Liverpool situation here. Yeah. I don't know what's only, going on with Trent. Only two? It's almost as if, like, He's now a squad player now. Like he's just Who? been rotated with Milner, Trent Alexander Arnold, like getting hooked off. This is your generational yeah. right now. And he's getting hooked off at um, at half time all the time, which is kind of crazy to me. Milner is coming on as a as a as a solution now. Like as a solution, which is kind of crazy. And also, second of all, which is quite funny, like a lot of Liverpool fans, a lot of rival fans have been laughing at Nunes here. But you take Nunes out of that Liverpool team and you lack a lot. And you know what? It's a credit to Nunes and how his form has been. But just as a serious point, like Nunes still is key, as mad as it sounds, to your Liverpool attack. Because he was just kind of one-dimensional. Correct. And that, that, I that agree is, both points. I agree with point points. I think I think Trent, I don't I don't know. I don't know. But I think there's more than meets the eye. There's something there, man. There's something's not right with Trent. Like he looks space jammed. Now, obviously, like how you defended Sancho, that's all I'm going to say. We don't know what's going on in people's personal lives and private lives. But, but Trent, Trent, Trent don't look Trent right. Trent, 
Trent's been found out for um, for his flaws that he's probably always had. I mean, when you look at that prime Liverpool team, he was protected by a fantastic defence. That had as well. Van Dijk, uh, and you had Fabinho operating as a general in midfield. Trent didn't have the same defensive responsibilities that he does now. So we probably didn't know if he was defensively capable. And he's probably just being found out right now. Is he actually the generational talent or is he just the great crosser of the ball? Oh, no, he's definitely a generational talent. If you think he crosses, nah, he plays... A generational right back could defend play- he places passes that you know a lot of lot of many of our team's players would be proud of. He's definitely a generational talent. Talent. Now, whether he goes on to be the generational player that many Liverpool fans want him to be, or some may even think he is, I agree. That's yet to be seen. But he's young, he's got time. He's 24, 23, 24. So he's got time to develop into that. But I agree. Just like the everyone else is having a stinker. But I'll be look. I'll be very honest with you guys. Out of the ones that we already know are going, like the Oxlade Chamberlains and Naby Caters and the Milners, etc. If I don't see Fabinho and Joe Matip in a Liverpool shirt again, I'm okay with it. You know, the heroes of mine, the legends. They've won me every trophy that I've seen that is available in the last five years. But if I don't see them for play for Liverpool ever again. I'm okay with it. Up and, and before people say, what about this one? I've already told you. I'm talking about the the ones that are in the, out of the first 11. The ones that at Ox and Caters, yeah, man, they should have been gone long gone. But out of the current setup, Fabinho and Matip, I've told you, look, this weeks ago, they won't be back. Liverpool fans thinking, oh, they're going to be back. No, they're not going to be back. They're not going to be back. They're done out here. Some- yeah, th- talk about Salah, Grizz, man. Talk about Salah because he got his he got his big contract, and and we always said he was world class, and he's the kind of guy who can win games in his own, and he just doesn't seem to look like that anymore. Like, what well, are your thoughts Salah, on him? Was... Salah and Van Dijk won't be back either. I said that, but remember, you lot said, "Whoa, Van Dijk!" But no, I Salah, Salah. I mean. no, because you tried to compare him with Rio Ferdinand. That's why. Who? Van Dijk. Who? Listen, when we were doing the little top six debates... Yeah, and, and I said, if... Well, right, so no, if you don't finish another... If you don't, if you don't finish... If you don't win another league or a Champions League, I'm not going to... So, 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 okay, so now... Don't, so there don't you try. go. So, yeah, I'm not yeah. trying to say no. I said that if. So, you yeah. lot try to pin shit on me that I didn't say. This is like... This is not on. Where's my... Where's Shuri? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where's Shuri? Where's Shuri? I want my Shuri here. So you're never going to compare Van Dijk to Real Ferdinand anymore? If now. you don't win another Champions League and, and Premier League, no. And I wouldn't compare him yet anyway because we spoke about the longevity. I said if he does it for another... Come on, man. You already know. Is that out yet, Turkish? Boost that, man. People need to hear it. <laughs> no, the, the Premier League one, is that? You, you back. See, go and check that out, people. Find where I said that. If not, come and cook Saeed for trying to sh- play... Pinch no, but we, we've had we've had off the season. You're trying to get me cooked cook for no reason on this. I'm getting cooked I'm every week here. And you're trying to do extra, extra shit. You're my brother. Are you my brother? Yeah, my I was brother, happy yeah. for you. I had the shit on you there, though. That's all it is. But anyway, look, look, cut a long story short. The you were murmuring it. The fact you were murmuring it insulted cut, me. Cut a long story short. If we don't beat Wolves, it's a disaster again. Like, And then we got you boys over the weekend. We must stop this title charge. We must. And then oh, Huey, very, cut, long story short, Salah, Salah's been much better. He's got goals, he's got assists in his last game, hit the crossbar. It's, it's not a Salah problem. It's it's just everyone. It's that midfield, man. I keep harping on about it. Yeah, there's no one player, there's not one player in there that I would start next season. But I think one what the problem player. is with Salah is that you've given him a contract on his decline. That's the big issue. Because I'm not saying he's had a he hasn't had a shit season. By his standards, he's had a poor, poor rough yeah, season. Yeah. But the contract that was given at this time, when yeah, yeah, yeah. it ties in with some of the, it, it. Yeah, I agree with you. It ties in with, but majority of the fan base, if you ask them, every every person said he needs it. He, we need to keep him. We need to keep him. We need to keep him. So it's hindsight. It's one of those ones. I'm sure even Yulo was saying, "Oh my God, Salah's leaving Yulo." Do you remember Yulo were bantering me, taking similar a piss? Robert, well, similar with Aubameyang to an extent. At, at the time where his yeah, contract if, was renewal, but at the time, said wanted it. Wanted, yeah. And then a year and a half later, it was like, why the fuck did we give him that contract? Yeah. Now, 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 every one of you lot were ready to take the piss if Salah left. Oh, my God, Salah's leaving you lot. Salah. So you lot were like, oh, you shit. You brought Salah's the news to me, dead or fair play to you, man. Yeah. But, the, you know, now people are saying he's looking to leave. He's not looking to leave. People there are saying, oh, if we don't get his... No, he's leave. getting his cash. Hmm? Why would he? He's getting his cash. He's chilling. Nah, nah, he looks like he's chilling. 
You no, know man, I've seen clips of him. He's fuming. He's fuming, man. You see video clips of him, edits made of him. He's fuming at the situation, but it is what it is, isn't it? Listen, it's a write-off, innit? But I agree with Toby. I was joking with Toby. We must we must finish top four. We have to salvage it. Do you think you can, though? Be honest. Do you think you can? Like, I, with, with, I know you got talk, one, Sunday night, innit? Sunday night. <laughs> Next two games. Got, no, but to be fair though, you said before on the show like, oh, I don't think we're finishing top four. Then you've kind of made your kind of like... Because we've come back a little bit, bro. That's seven points out of nine now in the last three games. Three clean sheets in a row. It's sign, sign to work with. I'm talking from three nils and four ones and getting bus up every week. Suddenly three clean sheets. Newcastle, Everton and oh, Crystal Palace. Up. Now oh, we've got informed Wolves who are playing much better under this manager. We've got to deal with them though. No excuses. No, no excuses. I'm just saying they're getting better, but we have to deal with them. And then we've got possibly, I don't know where Arsenal think and City think, possibly one of the best informed teams possibly around Europe, according to you lot. They are yeah. informed in United. Yeah, yeah. United, United are one of the best teams in Europe. And we're going to batter you lot. There you go. We talk Thursday, innit? See if you've got the same chest in the predictions. Okay. Okay. And listen, we're going to do a couple super chats on Liverpool and get into predictions. So everyone have a quick think. Memphis Depay says, Grizz talking like Liverpool should be in the top four and others are happy to be there. Before Klopp, Liverpool would be happy to be in the conference. Yeah, that's seven years ago. What were you talking about? And that was for about three years. Otherwise, we've won the damn fucker for six times. What are you talking about? What team does that guy support? Bring him back up. He caught a big-ass whopper, big. didn't he? He caught a big fish there, didn't he? No, no, no. Bring him back. What's, what team does he support, the other guy? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. Okay, okay. Let, okay. let me know what team you support, bro. You don't need to say, but I'm, I'm coming for you. <laughs> he caught <laughs> there. Blaze says, Trent is a generational talent. He's 24 and still got time to improve. Also, Grizz, quote, can we talk about Enzo's performances? He's Are you a dickhead? Are you a dickhead, Blaze? Are you a dickhead, Blaze? I'm the one who said he needs time. I ain't ready to slander yeah. Enzo. I never You're once... Spot, you know, I never once said, Which let's talk about of- Enzo. Matisse, didn't I say, nah, 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 he needs more time to be fair when people trying to play him to... Uh, but thanks for the super chat. Yeah, you just, yeah, you just yeah. say that. But thanks for the super chat. HW says, don't like back in Spurs, but unsure why Grizz is sure Liverpool will be back with chest. Their recruitment of late is horror and Klopp has never rebuilt a team. Big question marks. Mm-hmm. Um, on the Liverpool, that is it. I've got a few more that I'm going to rattle through at the end. But let's do predictions. Liverpool, Wolves, Grizz. Um... 2 0. We must. 2 0. Tobes. When is the game? Which is not, doesn't. Wednesday. Matter. Wednesday, yeah. Um, oh, God. Um, I don't even know who's back. I don't know, man. Can, can we. <laughs> the pass, line, isn't it? Can you pass on to Matisse? <laughs> That's a pass. That's a yeah, pass. Yeah. I ain't telling you um, shit. Like, come no, on, Chris, man. Do your homework. Where is it? It's Nunes back, though. Guys in the chat, let us know. It's Nunes yeah. back. They won't know what I know. Bro, you, you, sometimes good to me. I'm going to go for a draw. for a draw. My mom. Matisse. What does Toby say? 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go with a 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Mm. Two, two. I'm going 2-1 Liverpool. Hugh? It's in Anfield, yeah? Yeah. Fuck me. That makes no difference. Ooh. I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. Oh, I'm, I'm blocking another dickhead, man. Just every one, week, one. same shit. Tight. Yeah, it's like, just sitting here. Yeah, unknown. every week, same shit. He's out for an unknown amount of time. Jota's I'm back. Go with... <sighs> Two one Liverpool. Two one Liverpool. That's all the predictions in. One more super chat came in from Memphis. I support the mighty Burnley, who will do a double on Liverpool next season, pal. Big up Burnley. That was, the, that was the one that said the last super chat that you got an over and said, Who does he support? So yeah, there you have it. All right, cool. Listen, fat well, we're touching two hours. We've still got 8K here um, and 2K likes. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to Hugh, Saeed, Grizz, Tobes, Matisse and Skull Fuggery if you haven't already. And if you don't know, then on the official Big Six channel, after every show, the morning after, 
there's a new highlights package. So if you can't catch the full show, and sometimes it is quite a long show to catch and, and you don't listen to it on Spotify and podcast platforms and all of that, then there's a highlights package that comes out on the official channel. So make sure you're subscribed to the official channel. More content to come. We're due to link up end of March to record some content for the official channel. So make sure you're there, people. And New York this summer will be vlogged on the official channel. So a lot of big things coming on the official channel. And also, before we move on, big up the sponsors, Manscaped. If you haven't got anything from them, please do and use the code TB620 for 20% off. There's a link in the description. If you go via that link, the 20% should be automatically applied. But please check during the checkout process. If it's not, then just put the code in the promo code section TB620 and you get 20% off. There's a lot of new products there as well. So check it out, people. Check it out. And because of the time and because of the expectation that Arsenal and Manchester City were both going to win their games, I'm going to quickly just give my brief analysis on Arsenal Leicester and then we'll go straight into predictions on Arsenal Leicester. One of the most dominant 1-0 wins I've seen. Leicester didn't have anything, anything. Um, all round, the team was a great team performance. Standouts, Gabriel and Jorginho. And for me, man of the match, Trossard. It's good to see Arteta do something different, in my opinion, because Eddie Nketiah was getting a bit stale up there, a bit too predictable for defenders, very easy to defend. And he, he's not the type of striker to aid your, your wingers. Whereas Trossard came in and I think he was a lot more fluid um, overall in attack. But we didn't create the chances I thought we'd create when I saw that front three start in the game. So, you know, some work to be done there. I, I, I expect the same front three to start against Everton. I hope the same front three start against Everton. There's just something about Trossard, both footed. He can pull defenders out. Um, he's very good on the ball, close control. Um, the way he fed Martinelli for his goal, the way he dispatched of his own goal that was disallowed in the first half. I, I'm liking Trossard more and more every time I see him. He was a player that, you know, b before January I was interested in, obviously deflated from the Mudrick saga, but he stepped up. And Jorginho too, another good game from him. Fluid passer, doing his job. Um, he, he's got a wise head on his shoulders. That's definitely something I can say about him because his, his mobility is not all the way there. But when you're, the, you know, when you're dominating possession and you're giving him the ball in tight spaces, he knows when to turn out. He knows when to just pass it off straight away. So big up George Jr. as well, doing his thing. I'll analyse the January window properly come end of the season. Let's see where it takes us. But moving into Everton, it's revenge time. You know, we lost 1-0 a few weeks ago to Everton. A new manager bounce, but they haven't replicated that performance since. Um, didn't they just lose to Villa 2-0, I think, at, at their own ground? So, couple that up with the Liverpool loss and and their performances after beating us. I think we have to win the game and we have to build that cushion back to five points. I think that will be massive mentally for, for us and, and massive mentally to see how Man City react to that as well. Listen, Man City, um, I think even Hugh has admitted that then they're, they're not the same Man City we've seen in the past few years. So, it'll be interesting to see how they'll react to First, clawing it back from a five-point gap to only a couple of weeks later being five points behind again. Um, and our next few fixtures are very winnable games. I, I expect, I hope, to win every single game from now until um, the international break at the end of March and, and see where, where we're at. Because if we do win every game from now till the end of March, then I expect to, the gap to be bigger than five points. And that'll be massive going into a month where... We play Liverpool at Anfield, um, City at Etihad, Newcastle way around the corner in April as well. So now is the time for Arsenal to kind of kick back into gear, momentum, clean sheet under our belts again. I think that's our eighth clean sheet away from home, ninth clean sheet overall, if I'm not mistaken. Um, very positive. And Arsenal, Everton, I'm going for a 2-0 a a Arsenal win straight in there. You. Three nil Arsenal. Three nil Arsenal. Uh, Said. Yeah, I'm going three nil Arsenal as well. Everton. Yeah, they're poor man. No goal scorers, <clears throat> man. So three nil. Three nil. Three nil Arsenal. Cool. Three nil Grizz. I was going to say three nil, but I just need to be different. Try and catch up. Two nil. Two nil. Tobes. Yeah, 
2-0 as well. And Matisse round it up for us. Uh, 3-1 Arsenal. 3-1 Arsenal. So that's all predictions in. A few 2 nils, a couple 3 nils, and a 3-1 there from Matisse. Like I said earlier, there was a few super chats that came in on other subjects, but I will get back to them now. Dub says, what a turn of events. Saeed doing victory laps at an abandoned car park. A depressed blue Urkel bottom left and the community hat model trying to keep his head up. <laughs> Football's a humble up. Big up Gareth. He says, does the quadruple contain the Champions League? United are in the Europa League as far as I'm aware. Maybe they thought because they beat Barca, they were still in the Champions League. Love how United fans make up the standards as they go along. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of quadruple talk. But again, I'm going to give credit to Saeed because he didn't, you know, he didn't overgas the League Cup win. And he said uh -huh. it for what it is. Um, it's a trophy, but not a major. Turkish, just one game at a time. I think Cam has infected all these Man U fans. These Camerists won't admit Man U are in a title race. He's done very well with that one game at a time. I'll give him that. And last here, Arteta Ballers says... Idea, the champion moves to Hughes' frame next season with a gold border around their frame. So every year, champions at the top centre might add to the banter. Gold frame is very, very possible. That's, a, that's, that's quite a good idea. I can't even lie to you. Can we get it in for the next show? <laughs> <laughs> we'll start it next season. We'll start it next season. Now we'll we move, the, move the positions around. It feels like home down here, bottom no. left, just in case we win it. You know what I mean? Obviously. I know. I know. Um, but we will bring the goal framing. That's a that's a good um, mm. that's a good idea. And I see it in the chat as well. I read it literally just before the game. Scott Fuggery sent it to me. Stephen Featley, who was a massive, massive Arsenal fan and a massive fan of my channel and and a good guy overall. He passed away, I believe it was earlier today. And um, he was battling his his own um, health issues over time as well. Um, and it's a sad loss. I can't lie to you. It, it is mad and. Just puts life into perspective you know this is football it's banter it's entertainment but life comes first and and yeah it, it, it is mad because he used to dm me quite often as well and we used to talk here and there um so rest in peace to steven and i hope um someone said he had cancer was it cancer it might have been uh, but listen regardless of what it was it's, it's it's a loss um it's a loss for a family a loss for friends um and it's a loss for the Big Six community as well because he was a fan of the channel and he was a fan of the show. Um, so rest in peace to Stephen Featley, man. Rest in peace. Um, yeah. Hope his family can get get through this difficult time. You know, I've had a loss recently as well and it's, and it's not easy. It's, I don't think I'm ever going to get over it. So thoughts and prayers out to Stephen's family and friends and anyone that, you know, had the pleasure of speaking to him, knowing him and, and so on. Yeah, sad news to end with. Um, on that note, actually, one more super chat came in. Saeed's secret admirer. United are back. Weghorst has won more than Kane. Stop being salty, Tobes. Big up, Saeed. What's, what's this lipstick on the, on the picture? What's going on with this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Know, relax, man. What's going on there, man? I don't right. even see that. Yeah. I don't even see that. All right, cool. That is it for tonight's show, people. Five past two, so it was a bit longer than expected. So make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the Mandem. I want to see their followers go up again. Um, Hugh on the road to 10K, Hugh? Yeah, we're about 200 off 6K at the minute, so we're getting there. Don't worry, on the road to 10K, man. We do it. Saeed on the road to what, 70 next? Yeah, man. Just, yeah, man. Support the channel. Big up to everyone, man. Big up to everyone. Come on, man. And um, Grizz on the road to 30k, just last 25. Yeah, man. We keep it moving. We keep it moving. Big up, big six family. I tell you, it's mad, man. 8, 8k of you lying here. Mad. It's, it's mad. amazing. Week Humbled. Twice a week. Tobes on the road to 20k, I believe. Boy, that's a far, far away, but yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, man. The worse Tottenham get, the, the, the more your followers are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my followers stay low. Look on the bright side. <laughs> and Matisse. Uh, on the road to... Well, what are you on next? 70k as well? 50k? 60K? 50. On the road to... My brother's on the road. 
on the road well, to hell. That Lee, gun, that, that Lee, big up Lee as well. He always says it when people take the piss out of him or profiting off a loss, right? That's going to be Matisse in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, man. If we keep playing like this, man, we're going to hit that 100K. This, Matisse this year, is on man. the road to 100. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Big up Matisse, man. He's, he's, he's killing it, man. You get himself. So, the pain. Man, the pain. Man, I told you, man's football focus. Football yeah, focus. Valencia, That's what's your name? Man. It's all mad. He's trying to get everything. Valencia, watch along. Oh, big big Copa del Rey on Thursday, man. Big Copa del Rey. Come watch my first link. Chelsea, Chelsea's rattled in completely. But follow up all of the Mandem people as well as Skull Fuggery and the official channel. Like I said, the highlights to this show will be at tomorrow. The highlights to the last two shows have come out already. Uh, make sure you're subscribed there. Notification bell on. And love for the love, people. We are back Thursday night. Is it Thursday night? There's no yeah, Thursday night, people, 9 p.m. Make sure you're there. Hit the like button on the way out. Peace. <laughs>